to the Late Late Show, my cheeky wee monkeys. My, my first guest is an actor and comedian whose unique brand of humor has won him millions of fans and a pair of Emmy Awards. Mm -hmm. You can see him in the new film, The Aristocrats, which opens Friday in New York and Los Angeles. Please welcome the incandescent Eddie Izzard, everybody. <laughs> We have, a, we have an extra chair in case you brought anyone. I've noticed your seat is taller. It is! Dom Dominic was about here, I'm about yeah. here. Yeah. Well, I can come down a bit if you want. <laughs> but no, you have to go up. Okay. Well, that makes sense. No, I feel like, I feel like doing it like this. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, that's something like this. All right. Yeah. Uh, you heard that the light. Uh, 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 so, uh, so how's things? How's, uh, how's, uh, how's everything going? It's good, it's good. It's, yeah. um, it's who'd have thought 30 years ago? 30 years ago, yeah. We'd all be sitting here in yeah, yeah. Los what, Angeles. What, what, was, what was happening 30 years ago then? I was watching Monty Python. Uh, oh, so was that? Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, yeah. 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 you want to go down? Yes, I'd rather. I can't. It's, this desk's a bit wobbly. It's not a real desk, it's just made of paper but we, mache. But we committed to that. We committed, we got all the way up we there. We got all thought, the way up. And then we, we thought, it. God, this is boring. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's like down. putting on a comedy hat. You put it on and then it's a comedy hat, it gets a laugh. And yeah. Then, and then, then, then what are you going to do? Then you have to shoot yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thank you for saying the funniest person in, in the thing. And I love the audience did go... <laughs> <laughs> pin drop. And I think that pin drop was from the dramatic tension in the audience, as opposed to surprise! <laughs> what? Kill him. No, 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 it was. They, they think you're the funniest person in the world. No, no. And, and so, oh. <laughs> Pretty works. Really? Really? You should get some of... I can't, I I can't. We can't afford these. No. no, we've got. That's a tape recorder of Bob Barker. <laughs> do you watch? Do you watch Bob Barker? Do you watch The Price is Right? I, I would, but I, I can't. Why? <laughs> it's a legal thing. A legal thing. <laughs> <laughs> because of uh, because of the the court case involving you and Bob Barker. Or no, I just <laughs> I'm, I'm not allowed to watch him. <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's a thing. It's uh, it's a European thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it anything to do with Speedos? <laughs> a lot of Europeans wear Speedos. Americans apparently think that's very funny. What, the, the swimming trunks? Then? Yes, from all tiny swim, swim, swimming trunks. Swimming trunks, yeah. <laughs> no, I like to swim al fresco. <laughs> <laughs> that just means outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, like, you like to swim outside. I'm glad you caught that. Yes. <laughs> As opposed to swimming inside, which sometimes sucks. Uh, it's terrible. You swim down the corridor. Yeah. There's no water. Yeah, there's, there, there's the no water thing that I really I hate know. about. Hurts your knees. It, yeah. <laughs> you could try the backstroke. Oh, the backstroke would be more uh, high status, I feel. Uh, yeah. The, I'd like, if you could do... You know the people who used to do the... Uh, what's, what's that butterfly. one? The butterfly. butterfly yeah. They should be shot, surely. Because... Uh, <laughs> It made me, and I think I think 99% of the rest of the world feel so small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we couldn't even do that version. They did that version. I know. And then they came back up, and they were like, and there were fish going. I can't do that. <laughs> in, my, in my swimming pool, fish going. Ah, sharks you, going. Ah, wouldn't even try. I bet you, if a shark was after them, they wouldn't do that one though. Well, that's just a showy off one. It's like it, a combination it, it, of swimming and juggling. Swimming, juggling, and being a bloody fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And fish are much way further down on the food chain, so, you know, should not be respected so much. I, I don't know that fish are respected so much. They are in Europe, I know. Um, I, I where saw. the fish is still king. 
Where, where the fish come from? Where the, the fish come from Europe. That's right. Yeah, like Brazil and the nuts and stuff. Bra Brazil nuts and European fish. Yeah, it's fish. <laughs> so you, uh, you do a lot of uh, work in Europe, don't you? Amongst uh, the poor. I do. I, I go there and ask them if they could pay for me to, to have a house. Right. And, uh, and they say, no, we're poor. Right, right. But I put a small voice on when I do it. That's and good. Then, you know, you should do a horror film with that voice and be a, and be a scary... Yeah, you've got a big, an old person who has a small voice. Yeah. <laughs> and get a giant, a giant sort of plastic head. <laughs> it's shiny, you know. Swimming inside is hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is. Well, you don't have to swim inside anymore. You, you've, you've made it in show business now. You can I, afford to swim al but, fresco. But, but, but... <laughs> Good when we get twelve people with us. Yeah. Hey. I I have no idea what we're talking about either. If it no, helps. but it's good. I apologise. Uh, as you're Scottish, I apologise for the colonising the country. The way the English. <laughs> feels. Now that we're here on neutral territory here in America, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to apologise for us killing you guys. That's all right. It's all right. I didn't take it personally. I felt it was more about you know a war, as opposed to. <laughs> I don't know what it was about, but you... really, I don't either. You know. I... Basically, I think it was just family arguments, wasn't it? I know, but the interesting thing was that the, the, the Scottish hated the British, but the, the English, the Scottish they hate the English, but they hate the Scottish even more. Well, yes, they, they hate themselves even yes, more. It's, it's a really very odd, <laughs> very odd, odd kind of comedy. I hate myself right now. And I, and I like you. I like you, I, as long and as I hate myself. As long as we're buying shortbread and wearing kilts, it's, it's okay. <laughs> You don't have to wear kilts. I, I, I came over here to get away from all that craziness. Yeah. Well, it's, it's... I just wanted to say that, you know. Yeah. Well, thank you. And uh, we're going to take a commercial break and okay. we're going to come right back. We'll be right back with Eddie Izzard. No, it's, it's, uh, welcome back, my lovelies. I'm here with Eddie Azard. Uh, we got some letters once because people thought there was a ghost between the chairs. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, do that. Oh, that's better. Yeah. That is better. Look at that. Look, that's better. Yeah. I don't have to do that now and I don't get a big You've got an enormously long bottom. I've, it, I have got a very long bottom. <laughs> I've got a... They, I, they, they call you Long Shanks or Long Bottom. They call me Long Bottom. <laughs> I, I have to have a special canoe made. When you were in uh, Lord of the Rings? Yeah, when I was in Lord of the Rings, I had a special... Could you remember, Dominic? I had a special canoe made uh, for Lord of the Rings. Have you joined the... I don't know why I do that. No, it's good, though. It does work sometimes, because uh, Bush does it, and he got... A couple of, a couple of electric. John Lennon thing. It's oh, a John, John Lennon thing. I saw him do it, and I just I try and become John Lennon. Uh, uh, can, can I interrupt? Sorry. All right. Uh, so I I go. I've got I've got long bottom. How long is your bottom, Eddie? Mine is is uh, in in American terms. It mm -hmm. is uh, t two foot nine, which is seventy three meters. Now, do you do you do you prefer the metric system or the old-fashioned uh, other one? I prefer the metric because I mean, in the metric came to America, didn't it, in the seventies? And, and and Carter said, "Hey, metric system," and you went, "I don't know about that. That's metric system. I don't know. They got th centiliters and things. I don't know. It's kill it, kill it with a stick." Uh, yeah, yeah. He said, "No, no metric system. It's a." What have you been doing? What's the film about? What's The Aristocrats about? The Aristocrats is about very rich people who live in Bolivia oh, and they, nice. they're shot through a cannon into space and monkeys come and they take them, they cut some of their knees off and then they spread... No, The Aristocrats... <laughs> that's um, what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, the Aristocrats is actually, it's about 50 comics telling one joke over and over. It's the filthiest joke you've ever heard in the world. Um, uh, yes, slight applause. <laughs> Um, that's kind of impressive when you do that. No, yeah. um, but it, it, it's 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 the freedom of speech. Uh, what's that? Second Amendment? First Amendment? First Amendment. First Amendment. First Amendment. Yeah. 
And it, Isn't it, it funny that I knew and they didn't? Yeah. Yeah. We don't care, we live here. Yeah. The 95th Amendment. Anyway, it's, a, it's a, exercising the First Amendment, and it is, a, it is a joke that is quite told in a jazz way. It is filth in jazz, and it is, it is kind of amazing. And you need to see it once, and then, you know, see Berlin and die, or whatever it was, see Russia. See, see the aristocrats and then explode. It is just, it will, it will change you, maybe not in a good way. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Well, I, it's, got to, it's just going to be the, one of those things that, that uh, people with hands will, will enjoy. Go, will if it's a movie for people with hands, that's the type of movie you want to make. Yeah, look at that. There's not, there's not enough movies made for people with hands. No, and people with glove puppets and crocodile glove puppets. Crocodile glove puppets. No, but, no it is. It's, it's, it's just, it's really kind of, I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I don't even know. I did, I, it's so weird. But it's <laughs> and then you go and you go, oh, and afterwards people come out and go, whoa, and it's one of those. Well, I, I, I won't miss it. I won't miss it. Eddie Azad, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Eddie Azad, everybody. We'll be right back with former CIA director R. James Wilsey. Yes. Eddie Azad, everybody. Welcome, Eddie. Welcome. Are you all right? It's a bit tall. The chair's a bit tall. It's a bit tall. Really? Look, look, my feet don't actually touch the ground. Look, look. You see that? That's a trick. You're not really doing no, that. No, I'm, I'm not. You're secretly raising your legs up a little I bit. I have a very hot, big thorax. Right. Uh, but, yeah. What is a thorax? Isn't that this bit? No, I, I thought that was on an insect, yeah, the thorax. I thought, but, yeah, I thought What do you call this Are bit? you an insect, Eddie? Well... You know, there was this point where I wasn't sure. Right. When when I was a lot of young men I was channeling that. Kafka, yeah. right? Kafka. I was channeling Kafka, and you know he did that play about waking up and you're a bird. wake up and you're a cockroach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, your feet seem to reach the ground now, quite simply. Well, no, no, no I'm, I'm, I can do that. Well, it's we'll just... press on and we'll see how we're doing. I'm sure that doesn't work on television. Well, I don't know. N not much of this show does, so we're all right. <laughs> It's very good to see you. I thought about calling you Eddie Azard, you know, but I chickened out. Well, yeah, because that's not my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but a lot of American people do go, Eddie is hard. You yeah. know, which sounds like, hey, Eddie is hard, hard Eddie. Yeah, you yeah. I mean, and it's not. And they think I made up my name, you know, like, but, right. but that is my given name. It's got two D's and two Z's in or Z's, you know, and it's just a blur of double letters. It's a fantastic name. You know, it's a good name if you wanted to start your own rock band. It's not too late because, like, Bon Jovi, you can't be a postman called Bon Jovi. You have to, like, oh, hello, it's Ted Bon Jovi. You have to be a rock star. And I think the same with Izard. You could have Izard. I know, I know. Well, it did, it really, it kind of worked. And everyone thought I made it up. And I, and I have to shoot people. Yeah. When, when they say that to me. You know, because I... <laughs> anyway, yes, yes. So it's good. It's yeah, really yeah. good. And The Riches. The Riches, the television I, show. You're not really American. This is what I think is amazing. You're, you're not American, but you pretend to be one for, I know, for money. The whole acting thing. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I studied accountancy, but I thought, no, no, no just no. do acting and pretend to be people. And, uh, and they give you money. Yes. And Because uh, yes. accountants get money as well. But, uh, Not as much. No. Well, well, really good ones. Really good accountants, yeah. yeah. And really but you bad can actors. Use, the great thing about accountants is that you can use your own voice. You don't have to learn a new one. No, now. you can. You can say, that'd be, that, oh, that's quite expensive. That is. That's what accountants, right. you have to be certain. <laughs> And that's a very high-powered accountant then. Well, I think you should depreciate... Get all, move all six, that around. ...historical yeah. cost accounting, and then 16 years, depreciate your mother over wow. five years. Wow! Yeah. I did do it for a year. Yeah, no, it sounds very, very good. But although Izzard is not a good name for accounting, it sounds like a rock band or a comedian. Yes, that's what my... Do you still do accountant stand -up comedy? I do. I'm doing it now. <laughs> well... <laughs> This being Friday. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, yes, of I course. I do. I play, I play it. You know, I, do. I don't tell anyone I'm doing it, though. So it's quite sort of... Sparsely attended? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell people on the internet. They have to be on my mailing list. Oh, right. So, do you have a MySpace page? No, I don't. But a lot of people pretend to be me on MySpace. Me too. Oh, I really? pretend to be you on MySpace. Oh, really? <laughs> 
No, there are, there are people, and they kind of got my, they got my date of birth and my trouser size and everything. And they, and they answer questions. People, you know, write in, and they're, they're answering questions as me, and, and, I, and, I, and I don't know what to do about it. That sounds suspiciously like acting to me. <laughs> They're acting to be you. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. And it's, it's not my, it's their space. It's not my, <laughs> to be called, it's their bloody space. It's my space. It's not your space at all. No, it's, no. it's there. They've, they've you better talk to me about this. They, they're going to give you an Emmy for this damn thing, you know. No, I, I'm just going to steal one. Because, right. you know, if you... <laughs> Well, this is what I worked out, because I gave a Tony away, and if, if you get to give one away, you can just steal it. So, oh, I've lost, oh, I was going to go, where's it, where's it gone? Oh, thanks, I'll give the other one. And then you take it home. Yeah. But when it says Barry Manilow on it, they're going to suspect something. No, they never print it up front, they print it afterwards. They, they might as well have done it when Manilow stole it from me, I tell yeah. you that. Yeah. He stole one. He didn't steal it, he, you know, legitimately won it, but I like to use the word stole. But what were you... What were you what were you and Barry Manilow up for the same game? <laughs> I don't know. It? Actually, do you know what it was? It was Stephen Colbert, uh, Barry Manilow, David Letterman. That would have been awkward if I had to beat him. He's my boss. Right. So, 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 David Letterman, Barry Manilow, uh, Stephen Colbert, me, and someone else. Oh, it's the performance one. It's the yeah, performance yeah, yeah, Emmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and anyway, no, I, Manilow I won. won it. Yeah, I won that one. Mm. Did you? Yeah, we have to take a break. Eddie is out, everybody. We're very back. I'm here with Eddie Izzard, um, or Eddie Izzard, which is your real, your real name. My name is Edward John Izzard. Edward John. Yeah. You could have maybe changed your name to Edward John and just left the Izzard out for no, later. No, but then that sounds like I'm Elton John's son. <laughs> Are you? What's the fingers? What's the fingers? I don't know, I just like to. <laughs> give, me, give me a basket, that sounds like. Give me a basket. Are you Elton John? That's the secret no, sign I'm for Are You Elton John's no, Son? No, that's a secret. That's code for Give Me a Basket. Give Me a Basket? Yeah. What, a fruit? Yeah, or something. Give Me a Basket you know, of Fruit. No, Hospitality Basket. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You see, you know, those ticker tape guys. Go on, give yeah. me a basket. Oh, uh, on baseball as well. Oh, yeah, base going... oh, baseball is great. That's great. You have all that stuff on baseball because we play football, which you call Spanish. And, um. <laughs> And, uh, no, because I do, I would argue that American football is actually throw ball and hit guy. Yeah, yeah. Throw ball and hit guy with big things. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas with the football thing, and, 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 uh... What about baseball? There's no base in baseball. It's not no, like... No, but I like the baseball ticker tape. The guy going, that, that I wish we had that in cricket. Because we have this game called cricket. You don't... The, I don't, but, I, I don't but, like it or approve uh, of it. so slow. <laughs> Yeah. It's so slow. I just, you know, and they're always trying to kill you with the ball. Yeah. Whereas baseball, I like all that that stuff. I don't know what it means, and it's all. I think I think you just swore at some deaf people. Well, I could. Be. But I I do like that, and I like I like the organ that plays. Oh, the they, that's, that's good, isn't it? They have a like dee dee dee, de, and and every and the it, seventh inning, everyone gets up and rubs the bum. And it's yeah. And it, I think the organ says, nothing exciting is happening, and I've got an organ. And I think that's what it says. Remind you of anyone? We have an organ. Yeah, yeah. Come up and play. Have you become, have you become a full-blown American? Have you... Uh... I have become a Spaniard uh, ah. since I've been here. Right. No, well, I, I haven't... No, I've, I've, I'm based in, in America now because I'm doing the riches. Yes. And, uh, but no, I still go back to uh, um, Bolivia. Right. My home country. And, and England as well. Right. Do I think you should? I think you should probably live here all the time. Well, I do, but there's planes, you know, yeah, and so yeah, yeah. I got, and there's a lot of people I know over there. I'm still, I'm a European at heart. I think like an American, but my my heart pumps like a European. <laughs> Shakespeare said that, <laughs> but he didn't write it down. He just said it though. I wouldn't write that down. Yeah, it's rubbish. It's so <laughs> no, it's true because because I grew up as European. I do like what we have in Europe. The the things like like tree, trees and. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I do think, like, you know, the American thing of let's go, let's go, build it, build it, eat it, build it, shoot it, <laughs> kill it, hit it, <laughs> celebrate it, shout it, woo! Yeah, yeah, no, stuff. I like uh, enthusiasm, that's what you have. Whereas in Europe, we're slightly more, let's look at it, to cherish it, look at it, watch it fall down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, build it back up slowly. Slowly, build it back Have up. Have a glass of wine, slowly. And then occasionally dance like crazy and have sex. <laughs> dangerous sex. Yeah, on, dangerous sex. On, on roofs. Yeah. 
Well, it, because it, in, in America, you do get an interesting visual of Europe when they talk about European sex. There is <laughs> European sex, and it's, and it's European ladies doing European sex, and you go, oh, well, what's that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I have seen that advertised. <laughs> European ladies? Well, you know, when it says... It's, it looks like, give me a basket, to be honest. <laughs> give me a basket of European ladies. That's give me a basket, and that's... <laughs> We're completely out of time, but The Riches is a very good show. Yes, and, and you're very good on it. Thank you. Yeah. And I do think they should give you an Emmy, even if you're against Malice. Eddie is on, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> my first guest tonight, or my second guest, my main guest. Uh, do I have a guest coming out now. <laughs> Uh, he's uh, doing the Eddie Izzard Stripped World Tour at the Kodak Theatre in Los Angeles uh, through August the 9th. Please welcome the best comedian in the world, Eddie Izzard, everybody! <laughs> Uh, uh, less you, more ready, please. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Hello. Hi. Listen, uh, welcome to Snake Week. <laughs> is, it, is it an actual Snake Week or Craig Ferguson Snake Week? Or? Uh, it, it's, it's not actually a Snake Week in the world of snakes. It's not like, what, knock it off with the snake. What are you doing? He says, he says it's not Snake Week. It's not Snake Week? No, he says... Let next, me just he says, check. He says, <laughs> says next week's Snake Week. He, he, I according, feel such a fool. I <laughs> According to his iPhone. Do you have an iPhone? He does. Really? Well, I don't want to talk to the snake anymore. Uh, yeah. Are Sorry, you afraid I... of the snakes? Sorry? You're from Africa. I'm not, I'm You're not from Africa. You should Asia. know that. Uh, well, uh, uh, Yemen's Arabia. Arabia. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's an Arabic country. I was born in an Arabic country, which means that when I come into America, America goes bananas. Really? <laughs> yes, because of stuff and things that oh, happen. Oh, yes, of you course. Know, but, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but they know you. They'll be like, oh, no, it's... Uh, it's well, it's... yes, it, it, it get, but I've got two Zs in my name. So, you know, and, uh, and so the, they just... Izzard just looks like a weird name. It is my name. So everyone thinks, right. well, that's crazy. But I went back to... I was born in, in, in Yemen, in a, a city called Aden in the south of Yemen. I went back there for the first time since I was a kid. And, uh, and it did... was great. And I got almost arrested immediately. Really? Uh, <laughs> It was a little bizarre. I was filming everything. I just thought, I'll film everything. You know, with the new cameras, you switch it on video. I'll walk out of the plane, I'll video everything. I'm me, I'm on a plane, I'm on a bus, I'm on a tarmac. There's the airport, there's a guy arresting me. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. And he, did, he didn't want it. It was like a military installation. You know, you're not allowed to film at airports because they think you're going to do something. So. Right, right. So, and I was saying, I was saying, tourist, tourist. And that sounds very close to terrorist, terrorist. Yes. <laughs> It's the one word. I mean, lots of you should say friend or hello. Friend or, or yeah, or uh, Eddie. Or, even just Eddie, you can say Eddie. Eddie. That wouldn't actually help. No. There's very few Yemeni kids called Eddie. <laughs> well, then they would know you were the one. Well, they just think I might be saying balloons or something. <laughs> he keeps saying balloons. Maybe you know. You know well, maybe it. that's good though. They'd be like, well, he says balloons, but he's carrying a camera. Where are the balloons they yeah. made us? And then they'd arrest my balloons. Yeah, or yeah. Keep me and can you take balloons into uh, I into think it's Yemen? A, it's a very balloon friendly place. Yeah, but. <laughs> They've got the very, they have very hot weather there, unless I'm mistaken. It's Bizarrely hot. It's like the sun just doesn't go away. It doesn't even go down. It just stays <laughs> there and then comes back over the other way. And backwards and forwards? Yes. It's well, like that, that's going to burst your balloon right there. You're, it's going to... Oh, does it cause shrinkage? Well, yeah, yeah. we kept them in a super-cooled kind of cryogenic thing so the balloons could ling live long after I was dead. <laughs> and then the balloons would come back, you know, 100 years ahead, and the balloons would go, wow. And they, may, they, they would be able to store knowledge from our time to help people of the future. Indeed, and, and take out bad guys. That's, 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 that's why you bring that's people That's a hell back. of a balloon you're talking about that's, there, mister. It's called Badass Balloon. <laughs> and it's, uh, Is that, would you ever do a movie called Badass Balloon? I have, I've just done, I just made it in the, in, out there. <laughs> and, uh, small thing. And it's on release in five minutes. That's great. That's the new internet for you, the iPod. It's, it's just, it's like, it's there and it's, it's boom. It's very there. No one knows what's going to happen in the future. Uh, yes, course, you know, gy course. gypsies do, gypsies do. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they sometimes sell you flowers and stuff. 
No, that's florists. Florists sell you flowers, gypsies tell you what's going to happen in the future, and move from town to town. Ah, well, they're crazy like that. But it's the little flat thing, and they give it a flat, and then you ask, it's, it's a money deal, it's a cash. It's very American. It's very American. It's cash for flowers. It's a whole thing. Everyone's gone very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> cash. I think they're interested. Commerce. Commerce. Yeah, yeah, I, I, Commerce. I, I, I've gone quiet myself. So you went to Yemen, but now you're back, and I'm, I'm pleased. You haven't been here for such a long time. I haven't been here for nine years. I was 12 wow. when I first came on. That's it. I haven't been doing the show almost four years, so it's nine years I since know. you've been here. I know. Yeah. I was, you weren't even doing a show when I turned up at your house. And we That's did right, this yeah. Thing yeah. And, and I annoyed you and you... you no, you, you didn't annoy me. You, you, you tidied up lovely. And you got everything squared I away. I remember you shooting at me with that big gun you've got, that big, that big elephant gun. Would you ever uh, have a gun? Because you live in America, you can have guns. Well, I do have a gun fascination. I mm. understand the gun fascination. I mean, I've talked about this a bit in stand-up. It is, it is a curious thing, because they're, 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 they're powerful things. And, you, and I like shooting milk bottles off and going... Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. that, and, uh, but then... Have you know, ever been attacked by a milk bottle or any form of... Uh... <laughs> I did. I, that's when I became the milkman, which was like Batman, but it was the milkman. Milk, yeah, yeah. And I was attacked by milk bottles, and so I'd go around on a float, and, and then... E evil milk bottles? The milk bottles. But I was scared by the milk bottles, but then right. I became the milkman. And right. uh, I could go out, and using all the powers of milk, I could... <laughs> I could take care of bad guys. And, and at the same time improve their uh, dentistry and their uh, bone structure. I could do that and, yeah. and give them yogurt as an after. Are you, uh, <laughs> I, have you been to Wisconsin? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> is that a state? Is that a state? It is a state, yeah. What's yeah. the capital city? Uh, the capital city is uh, Dreamy. Dreamy? <laughs> Yeah, dreamy, dreamy Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I would remember that. No, because I just went through 34 cities in America. I saw more America than maybe a lot of Americans have seen. Oh, I've seen lots of it. I drive all over it, fly well, around. Are you still doing the flying? Do you fly? Yeah, I fly. I, I've got the fly. Oh, what, the, the actual the, the, yeah, yourself? I, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I, well, I haven't done it for a while, but yeah, I want, I want to do the helicopter thing. I had a shot of a helicopter the other day. They let me try it out. Yeah? It's, uh, it's, it's frightening. I know. Somebody could get hurt in one of those things. I mean, they, they, uh, they let me hold the little stick and they said, don't move it any bigger th than the size of a dime. I said, well, yeah. why do you allow it to move bigger yeah. than the size? Why don't you just have it restricted to where... And they're like, well, sometimes we have to go around corners. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was, it was tough. Yeah. So you've been touring, though. That's, that's I good. have been touring. By helicopter to... or a bus or a, a bus. Plane. I just got in a big, long bus and drove around America. The Bible Belt, the non-Bible Belt. Uh, the other belts, all Where's the belt bits. Garter belt, the yeah, uh, yeah. the twang. The bit. twang. <laughs> did you, uh, did you, do you go to church? Did I go to church? Yes. No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't believe in God. <laughs> I know it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Has anyone said that in America? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is, I, when you said it, I went to the bathroom a little bit. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool on... I believe in us. I believe in human beings. Right. I don't believe well, in the, the evidence is all around you. <laughs> I have noticed that you never wake up in the morning and say, we've just heard that God's given everyone an extra banana. And that's what I want to see him do. And, and his track record is a lot of volcanoes... God is not a performing monkey for you. That's not... An extra banana is not a performing monkey thing. It's an extra banana. It can make them healthy. It makes all your bone structure all go... All face forward. Ah, like we meet again, milkman. Milk... I was also a banana man. I was attacked by really? bananas. Anyone who's a... Just get attacked by things when you're a kid and then you become that thing, don't you? Really? I know. I... There's kids who are growing up and getting bats and throwing bats at themselves so they can get the Batman. The bat... bat is that what happens in Batman? I don't yes. think that's what happens in Batman. He doesn't... Yes! No, he doesn't become a bat. He's just got a series of outfits and gadgets. He doesn't have superpowers, All per se. based on bat stuff. Well, yeah, the, well, definitely the Spider-Man guy. He's got Well, he was Spider bitten by a... By a by and then the pig man, pig man. They did. Pig man, I don't remember. No, but... that was on Simpsons. He heard Spider-Pig. Oh, pig, it's Spider-Pig, Spider-Pig. Spider yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can he swing for... No, he can't. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. a pig. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the Simpsons. Do you enjoy cartoons? Oh, yeah. I want... I'd, I'd like to make uh, my own one. Because I, I do... I, I've been desperately trying to get... Oh, I'm doing one. Eagle. Uh, there's an animated one coming out. John Cusack movie, which I play in uh, a twit in there. Right. And, uh, but no, I love doing it. That's why I want to shove my comedy there. I want to shove my drama. I want to do drama 
with me in it, and then doing the voices on strange oh. voices in, 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 in animated stuff. Do you ever watch the uh, Do you ever watch the Road Runner and the Coyote, and you think to yourself, you know, I have a feeling the Coyote is going to pull it off this time. <laughs> I think there is one episode where he did, and he became king of Bavaria. <laughs> I don't think it was the real Roadrunner. I don't runner. think the Wile E. Coyote Roadrunner is set in Bavaria. I think they shot it in Bavaria, you know, before a tax break, it but was, it's actually set in America. It was one episode that the Coyote couldn't make it across because his papers weren't good. Right. And, and the Wile E. Coyote became king of Bavaria. I missed that one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, do, you have any, do you have any children yet? No. Okay. I have nieces. I have nieces. My brother has kids. That, that doesn't count if your brother has kids. No, you I know. Any, any... I know. I'm planning. I'm going to get kids, but... Uh, what about... Uh, <laughs> get get some later. Like, shop, you know. I'm going to do some shopping with kids. Do some, you know... Kid, let's kids, juice, uh, yeah. crackers. One about that big. Yeah, yeah. But that's, they start start, start, start a they're, size. They're all much the same size when you get them. They don't make much sense for a while. No. I no, I know. No, they I don't. prefer them when they pick up guitars and go, me, me, me. Oh, you mean musicians? Musician children, yes. Yeah, yeah. I kind of, well, I, when they get into talking and, and saying, woo, and, and playing, you know, just doing stuff rather than, wah, that endless wah. And, and I know some people are really into the endless wah, and I'm sure it, if and when I have kids, I'll, I'll get with the wah. Oh, yeah, no, but, you enjoy it when it's your own, but if it's someone else's wah, it's... No, I have noticed my brother, if he ever gets away from the kids, you know, <laughs> I don't know, but, you know, I've noticed parents doing that. I'm away from the kids for a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, they nap. There's a lot it's of that. True. No, it's true. So, uh, the Kodak Theatre, that, that'll be nice. The Kodak Theatre, yeah. and it's, 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 in, it's intimate. It's where they do the Oscars. Yeah, so very intimate. Stuff. It's only about 4,000 seats. It's I tiny. Yeah. It's the size of a studio well, of apartment. What are you talking about? Tiny. That's tiny in my book. Because oh, I, I, you know, the Radio City Musical is, is, is 6,000. 6, and in London, I was playing Wembley, and that was 10,000. 10, Did you do Wembley Arena? Yeah, uh, Wembley Arena. Yeah. Yeah, wow, 10, that's 10,000. Yeah, and there's a 30,000. But there's a German kid called Mario Barth. You can go on YouTube. He did 70,000 at the Olympia Stadion in Berlin. 70,000 for stand-up comedy? Yeah. I didn't think there were 70,000 Germans that had a sense of humour. <laughs> That's a very parochial American viewpoint. I know! Because he is American. Yes. But also, are you also... Scottish and American. Yeah, yeah you don't actually give up being too Can Scottish. Can you collect them? Can you go around the world? So you've got all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... uh, next up is Yemen. I'm going to Yemen. Yeah, well, yeah. no, no, I think I can get one because I was born there. Well, I, I can get one too. I know no, you. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. I'd put can... in a block. I'd put a veto in. I'd say. Can no. you actually do that legally Not that in Yemen? Guy. All right, we have to stop. You now. don't like to get one before me. Eddie <laughs> <laughs> Azard, everybody, we'll be right back. My next guest is, uh, is uh, well, possibly, I'd think, one of the uh, greatest comedians that ever lived. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about me? All right, is yes. he coming on? Is yeah, he you're, coming you're coming on in a minute. Charlie Chaplin's coming on. Charlie Chaplin's coming on. <laughs> that would be something to see, but people would watch for that. Well, I know. I know. I just, you know. He's I on just... the Ghost Whisperer. He could probably be on the Ghost Whisperer. <laughs> What, Charlie Chaplin? Yeah, he's, you know... Because some people don't go with Charlie Chaplin, and I didn't like him until you watch... You've got to watch him in a, a cinema, in a cinema setting. But and then it really works, because that's what he designed it for. Go off and I'll introduce you and then we'll talk a little bit. <laughs> no, no, Eddie, Eddie, no, all the way off. <laughs> no, I have to introduce you, it's late night! <laughs> Just stand over there a bit. All right. <laughs> Hi, next guest. Shut up! Don't. That's not right. <laughs> My, come here. My. <laughs> My next guest, I don't know who it's going to be, it's a surprise. <laughs> Please welcome Eddie Hazard, everybody. Eddie.
<laughs> Don't need music. That's all the music we can afford, yeah, Eddie. I, I, I think a producer said, stop the music, they'll do it for an hour. Yeah, that. And I we would have. I would Do you like my cup? Nope. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Look at that. Wait, is that because of the guy? What guy? I don't know. All right. Because <laughs> it's good to be here on a Tuesday, a uh, Friday. I love Thursday. It's the best, because Thursday is named after the god Woden. Who Woden? Was Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. Because it is Monday. I like Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are the best days of my week. And that's why I'm so glad to be here on This is a this. pre-tape for the big Saturday night show. Yeah, right? it was just a so good to be here on Monday, Monday, drink Wednesday, Wednesday show. Is that because of the guy? No, it's just, it's just because Because last week, <laughs> a guy got picked up by a thing. By a snake? Yeah. No, not this snake, this is a cup. <laughs> it's, it's a cup fashioned using pottery and science into the shape of a snake. It's not really a snake, don't be afraid or alarmed. It's just a, it's just a cup. No, he's, you see, it, he's, he's uh, laughing, isn't he? He's laughing. <laughs> That, yeah. It's called Laughing Boy. You know what I, I would like from this cup? If it really, if it was a better cup, a proper snake cup, yeah. there would be a hole there and you could just <laughs> suck the... Suck the poison. What if you went up to a snake, sucked the poison, got the poison out, and then spat it back in his mouth? <laughs> would he die? <laughs> hey, These you know what? One, once I was, I was laughing so much, milk came out of my nose. <laughs> I wasn't even drinking milk. It no. just came out of my nose. That's linked to lactating, that is. Is that? It's only linked, not, uh, you know, it's like a, one of those links on Wikipedia. Do you like the Wikipedia? I love I Wikipedia. I do like Wikipedia. It's and a after, laugh. And after three lines, I've, I've talked about this in stand-up, but after you read three lines, you go, oh, and then you click on a blue person, and go, ah, chicken. Oh, and it gives you something yes. else, yeah. Because we, we read three lines about soup, and you go, ah, oh, soup. So, you know, no, no, soup. I like soup. I won't eat a word against soup. Sorry, you can take, you can take your fancy British ideas about soup and take them back across the Atlantic, buddy, because I'm an American now and we enjoy soup in this country. <laughs> this will be on YouTube in Scotland. You know? <laughs> they like soup in Scotland too, you know. Soup. We fought for soup against the English. They tried soup. to take our soup. Soup was invented. This is this is true. Soup was invented mm. by the Nazis, and and is given to small children to punish them for being alive. Well, I had to put, no, no, no. No, I hate soup. I no, hate, you can't hate soup. What's I wrong with you? Soup. It was disgusting. It was like sick already made. <laughs> it went in and came out. I couldn't. Uh, there's nothing to grip hold on. You know, you want. Uh, what do you grip hold on? You grip. Are you some kind of weird spider? <laughs> You get your food and then you suffocate it in your mouth? Hang on, hang on, hang on. How do you eat chicken? I grip hold of my chicken when I'm eating the no, chicken. No, no, I, I mash it into a soup. <laughs> and then slug it out. That's chicken soup in there, buddy. Chicken soup. Excellent. Chicken soup in a snake cup. <laughs> There's nothing in there. There's been nothing oh, in there. Oh, yeah, right. that's right. Nothing in here, Is that buddy. really soup? Don't worry, you just enjoy what you've got. Is that soup? Because there's nothing in here. What? Oh, yeah. Is this soup? Mm. Go on, have a drink. Is that soup? No, it's, it's no, it's water. Oh. <laughs> well, you ruined it now. Everybody no, at home you, was we... thinking I live, was living the high life. Now they know. You were attached to that like it was your mother's well, it's snake. <laughs> well, because how did you know my mother had a snake? Well, she did. Everyone in Scotland knows. Yeah, well, it, it, it was. A... I have been to more places in Scotland than maybe you have. Possible. Yeah. Have you been to jail in Scotland? <laughs> One for me! Now, jail is not a town in Scotland, though, is it? Otherwise, no, that's Dundee you're thinking of, yeah. Otherwise, it would be called jail. Jail? Jail. Have you been to jail? Have you no, been? I've, been, I've played Stornoway. I've played uh, Shetland, Orkney. Yeah. These are countries so far north in Scotland that they're beyond, they're right down the other side of the globe. They're on the other side of the country. They're actually part of Russia, really. <laughs> but I just wanted to come here tonight to explain cheese Thanks. To the I was, you know, I, I, soft cheese or hard cheese? Well, both. They're all invented by Nazis no. to, <laughs> to make children throw up into their soup, and then that is served as risotto. Have you got some kind of? Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! Let's not go with this here. Have I you got some kind of anti-cheese agenda? Anti-cheesy, anti-soupy, anti-Nazi. It's well, I can go with one of the three. The soup one. 
sure. The soup. I'm anti No, not soup. You're tricking me with your wily showbiz ah, ways. I used to be a lawyer. Did you? I don't know. Well, you should have been a lawyer. Oh, well, I would have been. But they but, wouldn't let me. They yeah. said, you've got to pass exams and everything. That's, you don't want any of that. I just wanted to go in there and say, come on, kill that guy. <laughs> kill him that's with soup. He was a Nazi. It was, it deserved it. Well, you know. He'd done things with soup and cheese that no one could explain. <laughs> so, well done. How are you doing, then? <laughs> are you all right? You've got to ask me a question. Are you yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right, I'll ask you a question. I'll, 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 well, if you, right, I'll ask you a question. Yeah. Do you like skiing? Yes. Really? Yeah. I just started trying it last year. It's pretty good. Although you Skiing go is... I would say snowboarding is cooler because you'll look younger when you snowboard. Oh, yes. And when and you wear, see, that's not good, though. Well, yeah, it is. And as, you, as your wrists fly off as you fall over, um, <laughs> that's the problem. This is where you get the breakages. But it is great because you just... It's mainly uh, Bart Simpson moves. I, I like skiing because you look older. Yeah? You want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can go... <laughs> Can't wait to be really old. It'd be so awesome. You get all trembly. You live in Florida. You get lots of cortisone. It's awesome. Well, I think being in mountains is good because you realise that you know the mountains are slightly more important than you. You know, in a kind of size sense. Well, they're not. You know. Well, you know it I mean? depends. If you're a newsreader, no one's going to say, "Could you to the mountain? Uh, look, this newsreader's not very good. Can you read the mountain? Because then people will turn on CNN and it'll just be a picture of a mountain." I know. I know. It's it's it's, it's an interesting idea though, but not one that anyone will pay attention to. Um, <laughs> Where did you go skiing then? Where did you go skiing? Uh, Vermont. It's in America. Because right. there's a place called there's a place called Mammoth. Isn't there a place called Mammoth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in California, there's also a club called Mammoth. Right. in West Hollywood. Was there a mammoth there? Was that what they they said? Hey, there's a mammoth. There's called a mammoth. Is that? Yeah, they, they found a mammoth there. Is that what they? A Californian mammoth. Really? Who loved soup and cheese. <laughs> Nazi. <laughs> that was his name. Nazi mammoth. Now. Dinosaurs around for 230 million, 230 million years? I don't ask them, they don't know anything about that. I, I assume the intelligence of your audience, and I'm yeah. obviously not right to do that. But, well, there's, there's, there's actually a, a large group of paleontologists, I uh, think, up at the back. No, it's not 230, it's, it's about 100, and, it's from, which is about 175, I don't know. Anyway, it's quite a long time. And we've been around 5 million years, so that proves something. And they didn't do anything, and I think, why, why? They, they got up and they eat things and then they poo. These things, buddy. These? The opposable thumbs. They, they didn't have the. They yes. couldn't play Game Boy. No, they couldn't do any games. They couldn't do this. They if, couldn't do any of that. If Dinah, they, they couldn't hitchhike. Yeah, they couldn't. They the couldn't. ice age started. They're like, oh, please get us out of here. And everyone's driving by, going, it's all right, you'll be fine. They thought they were just waving. <laughs> it was, but didn't they have any? But surely you don't need opposable thumbs. You can just do that, can't you? Well, like if you're clapping, opposable yeah, hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opposable hands. You opposable hands. <laughs> I am for gay marriage. Well, I'm against it. <laughs> All right, let's make out. Oh. So gay marriage is still a topic that's being discussed here. The, the, it's a tricky subject here, yeah? Yeah, a little bit. Because <laughs> it's cool as cucumber in Europe. I Everyone's know. doing it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which reminds me, I must get back there for a holiday. Eddie, yes. we're completely out of time. Eddie is out, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Welcome back to a very special episode of Eddie and the Barbecue Guy. <laughs> uh, out on the roof uh, tonight, um, well, Eddie is hard to see here. He's Eddie out on the roof. Uh, Myron Mixon is out there. Myron, how, how are things going with the barbecue? Pretty good. I'm eating. <laughs> right, well, uh, we, we'll be out later on, all right? May not be none left. Right. <laughs> That's... Uh, He's, uh, that's Myron. Yeah. He's, he's the barbecue guy. I know. I met him when I did that TV show. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, so I got, I got Michael's Blackberry, and I got the, uh, the composition of the atmosphere of Venus. Are you ready? 97% uh. carbon dioxide with clouds containing droplets of sulfuric acid, along with compounds of chlorine and some other substance. <laughs> it just says some other substance. Well, it, it goes dot, dot, dot. But if I start opening yeah, up his Blackberry, right. I'll, get all, I'll get all the pictures and the sexy... <laughs> Actually, let's try that. Uh, 
That's his little. Isn't that adorable? His I, little screen well, thing he has there. Well, they all have that. Yeah, they? do they? I it's like it's like the open road. That's what yeah. he dreams of. The open road. I know. He's, from, about, he's from gypsies, you know. Well, America, America has that open road. It you does. Know? Yeah. It has more of it than we have. Well, why don't you run around America? There's more room. Would, but it's got this big middle bit of uh, distance that you know you have to run. Around, so. Well, if, but all the running around that you did, if you did it in one long line, you would probably be able to run right across America. I'll come uh, with you if you no, want. No, it's I'd, I'd have to do it th three times. Three times around the UK is once across America. Really? Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot. Lord. Well, what about what we Neil Patrick Harris? Do you know Neil Patrick Harris? I, I know of those three names. Right, right. Well, yeah. Neil Patrick Harris. His parents have a restaurant in uh, Albuquerque, so we could run there. Here's the thing, it's called Perennials, but it's closed on Christmas Day. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, I hope so. I think Mithras would be disappointed. Yeah. He say tent, say tent now. <laughs> Tent now. Oh, right. No, Mithras was the other guy who was born on the 25th of December. Oh, he was? Yeah. Right. And they think that Baby G could have just uh, come in there and... <laughs> I know you can't say don't, anything about don't chickens, say, don't say helicopters, about Baby G. Don't any say anything about any of that. I won't do it. I know. In yeah. Europe, we've... and then here. Mithras! Uh, Mythbusters. Uh, uh, do you watch Mythbusters? Have you ever seen Mythbusters? That's a is, great show. Is that a like what like Dustbusters or? You know, just, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I like. I think myths are good. You know, Santa Claus is good, and even though he's not a myth, right? Uh -huh. um, children. If children are watching this time, they should be. You they know, should be phoning child services and telling I, their I parents that. Uh, they should take some class A stuff. No, they street. should not. Class B. Yes. <laughs> I didn't. I said stuff. I didn't say anything. Yeah. I can't. You can, you can go to prison so quickly on these shows. Absolutely. Can't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, the thing is, people tune in to Eddie and the Barbecue Guy for a family entertainment. Uh, Do you see what I mean? You it, can entertain it, the family with some truth about stuff. And you can. Class that's A, true. Class B, yeah, Class C. Did you go and see Class a, L? Drugs. Class L? Class L drugs. They must be way down there. The there's, there's no point it's like soup. It's like soup. <laughs> soup and tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, class L. <laughs> well, well, I'm yeah, going yeah. to prison for class L. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know they were class Yeah, L. you're going to prison for 15 minutes. Yeah. Because it's only class L, you see. Yeah. So, uh, don't switch your brain off. No, no, I, I haven't. I haven't. I was just taking a rest. I was, right. th I was thinking about how excited I am to do the monologue soon. All right. I'm going to South Africa. You're going to South Africa? Yeah. Why? Play gigs, give money to Nelson. That's nice of him. Uh, well, yeah. well, he did a very good, you know. He did a good thing. He it's did true. Twenty-seven yeah, Nelson. years in prison. I thought yeah. I'll go there, give me. Give so you giving him all your money? Yeah. Well, <laughs> for those gigs, yeah. For those gigs in South Africa. Hmm? Have you learned to speak Boer? No. Oh, oh, well, Afrikaans. Afrikaans. No, I can speak Dutch though. Well, I can speak four words of Dutch. That's a start. I can say poffertjes, doppeltjes, wortelties, and alsjeblieft. And I can say uh, goeiedag and dank u wel. That's six That's words. That's six words. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That wasn't Dutch. Wasn't but, it? Uh, <laughs> I think dan Dankovan sounds good. Does dan that mean thank you? Well. Thank you well. Dan thank you well. Thank you well. It's dan like they take English and then they just make it... Just mess it up a little bit, yeah. <laughs> that seems to be most languages in the world. It is. I've noticed that if you can't speak a language, people appreciate it if you go to your country, their country, and speak English the way they would speak English if they could. Yes, that, <laughs> give you the big thumbs up on They that. love that. But I have a handy real tip that uh, Latin is the base of Spanish, French, English, Italian. Bits of German, Italian. And if you say the big three, if it's three syllables or more, if you just say it with a different accent, it is probably the same word. Transportation. Transportation. Uh, really? You know, Transportation? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they are because they're all Latin words. Transportation, in integration, in fl <laughs> flagellation. Fla flag flagellation? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> That's flagellation. Well, that's flagellation? I, yeah, that's Oh, not. I was thinking of flatio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, if you book But then some, again, aren't I always? Yeah. <laughs> if you book someone for flagellation, they come around and do flagellation. Yeah. Then it all... It <laughs> then, goes then wrong. It's, it's if you a heck book of a, a day. <laughs> <laughs> book a dyslexic person to come around and help you with that. Yeah. 
But it's true. That's, yeah. um, that was just T.E. Lawrence. T.E. T. E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah. He used to book someone to come around. And really? And whip them? <laughs> whip them and whistle at the same time? Because the guy had a dog and he'd just try and give him a ah. <laughs> So it was to keep the dog interested while he was whipping T.E. Lawrence. He'd say, pay attention, you're doing the flash. But the dog... Sorry, sorry. The, do the dog would be... <laughs> just... Because <laughs> I think it's... But, yeah, it's, uh, it all got complicated with him. Yeah. He died tragically. Well, yeah, he started great and then, and then it just went... Yeah. Um, yeah. And because he did such, you know, kind of amazing things with, uh, in, in Arabia when he was being Lawrence, uh, right. that afterwards, <laughs> they just sort of jumped over the whole paying a bloke to turn up and go... Oh, yeah, they, 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 they brushed just, over that. Yeah. yeah. It's like, much like the way we'll brush over this entire episode <laughs> of this one. I, I, I have to stop you because we have right. to get the monologue done. Yeah, and, tr and l do the monologue, and that's great. In the future, if you want another one, you could try it as a duologue with yourself. <laughs> Monologue is, I say this, I say this. Duologue would be, I would say, no, I don't know about that. Well, you should try to do that. Uh, I, I have done a bit of that. Yeah, well, that's yeah, a I, I, Well, I can't afford a sidekick, so I occasionally sidekick myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that during the monologue, which is coming up right after these messages. Eddie Hazard, everyone. to do, I, I like to read out, as you know, I, people Twitter or they send in emails and I answer their questions and they, you know, it's any, anything at all they can send, they can ask anything at all and sometimes I answer them and sometimes I don't. <laughs> and sometimes it feels a bit lonely and sometimes I think, oh, if only I had a friend here to answer emails with me and then I think to me, ding dong, oh, is that someone at the door? <laughs> I, I bing-bonged and it came out of your mouth. I, I pressed the button, it came out of your mouth. There's a little wire in my seat. <laughs> and it, The it technology that got this country to the moon. That's right. <laughs> and in Europe, we haven't got to the moon. No, but we don't want to go. We didn't want to go in the first place. So I just want to point that out. Even though America got to the moon, we didn't want to go. I don't know if that's entirely <laughs> you know, that's true. true. I don't think that's true. No, I, I think, you know the car thing? You know when there's two cars and they're going, whoa, 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 whoa. A race? Gonna go, yeah, he's going to go. Yeah, yeah, right. And, <laughs> And, and then, well, the trick is, because one goes, and then you just don't do anything, and you laugh, and you laugh. That's what we did in, in Europe. We did, we did, you no, 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 there was a, no, there was a European space program. There was. There uh, is, there is. There, we, I mean, is. We and, don't go to the moon, though. Well, we, we, we space think, is big, you can go anywhere you like. You don't I have to know, go to the moon, I you know. can go to Mars. Or... I thought we should go, I don't know, somewhere. The ring, the rings of Saturn, some of the moons, I don't know. Go to the sun. Go to the sun. No, that's, no, that's... A real, you know, one of those Teflon covers and really, you know... The Teflon mm -hmm. advertise on uh, CBS? They do now. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, just... Can I just interrupt? I, I'm sorry to interrupt you and we'll get to the emails and the Twitter. Right. But I, I wonder, do you have a vacuum cleaner? I have... <laughs> I have the ball type. You do have I that have one? Ball. No, I don't. I do in my mind, though. Yeah, I because, would Because like... he's a British inventor. I know, and he's got the proper amount of suction. He I says know. that. <laughs> he invented the thing. No bags. Wait, wait, wait. He invented this? He invented What's that? that. Well, you see, before, people would know this. They did it and you had a bag, and then you'd take the bag out, and the bag would go all over. Oh, it you. would be... It, you um, know what it would be? It would be asqueroso, eh? <laughs> What's that? Disgusting. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Asqueroso. It was Asqueroso. Asqueroso. Yeah, it's my Spanish word of the yeah, day. Yeah, I know. I speak French, so it's just... Oh, well, that's, that's not going to help you out no. with the old Asqueroso. <laughs> I'm, then, got, I'm trying to learn it, so that when I get to Mexico, I can go, Asquerosco. Oh, they'll and say they'll it to say, you. He's just said he's disgusting. <laughs> Do something horrible. Will you answer the emails with me? Yeah. All right, then. This is from Sandy in La Mirada in California. Uh, she says, uh, Hey, Craig, today's my 15th wedding anniversary, and I won't be able to spend it with my husband because I have to work overtime. How should I make it up to him? I think have sex with him for a year continuously. No, no. <laughs> think it through. Okay. They've been married 15 years. Right. 
perhaps not have sex with them for a not while. Not have sex continuously for a year. Yes. Yes. And then make no. them wait. No, go to the moon. No. <laughs> Wait, wait, she's in America, so she could. Not she in could. Europe, she'd be stymied. No, she couldn't go to the moon. Whereas the Russians, who are also Europeans, did nearly go to the moon. But the Russians aren't Europe. all Europeans. They're Asiatic Russians. No, no, that's over the Urals, baby. Okay. <laughs> um, oh. Oh. Uh, ah, this is good. You'll like this. This is from Stan, Dallas, Texas. All right? Yeah. You cold? It's quite cold in no, there. I just thought I'd pretend to be cold. Oh, yeah, do that thing. Can you do that one? Yeah, I can, yeah, hold on. Is that, is that... No, 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 no. But if you did that in front of owls, they'd go, that's rubbish. Oh, we've seen that. <laughs> These guys are not owls. They're not owls, so they like yeah, yeah. They're famous for not being owls. I know, you, know, you just right, refuse this is owls. This is Stan in Dallas. He owls. says, Dear Craig, is it too ironic that I am reading Kafka at my parole meeting? <laughs> No, that that's that's perfectly perfectly ironic. ironic. Yeah, that's what uh, I'd like to say is that I like I'm I'm reading them with you, but I've lost my eyesight for the weekend. I can't see a thing. Can you just, really? Well, it's it's gone it's it's gone really badly. You, so really, yeah. wow, well, it's I amazing because you should be able to see that. I can't I can't see that. <laughs> No, I, you've, uh, got, you've got things blacked out. You're the FBI. No, no, I have. To, you have to black out because what happens is if I put it up no, it's and FBI. it wasn't blacked out, it says. <laughs> We won't have that kind of talk here, Mr. European. That's not the kind of language we use. We have to do that. That's what, that's what bleeping's all about. All right. This is a Twitter. Are you yep. still on the Twitter? Yeah. I oh, went on. I've got a message for you from Stephen Fry. Oh, really? Literally he sent it a second ago. Oh, what Hang did he on. say? Uh, all right, what did he say? Um, give Craigie a kiss from me. I did his show on Tuesday. It was epic. No audience. He oh, it's... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like that. All right, then. And, uh... Uh, Sunday brunch. Oh, that's for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Didn't ask, offer you Sunday brunch. Well, I could, I could, I'll be, uh, yeah, I could come. Yeah, I'll carry. You don't want me to come, do you? <laughs> the last thing on my mind. All right, there you are. All right. Uh, no, 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 we're talking. There's we're a talking. Twitter, there's a Twitter. Right. Um, <laughs> I keep doing this to look. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Do you have glasses? Yes. <laughs> look, look. Dan, Whoa, da, da, these are awesome dan, 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 Do they explode? Dan, 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 dan. Yeah, James, James Bond in his older years. <laughs> <Just> kind of, <laughs> if I could just shoot you in the head, Miss Moneypenny. Uh, All right. Do people really change over time? My mom says she is going to dress appropriately, but hasn't happened yet. Yes, that's good. <laughs> From Angel in Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. Yeah, her mother apparently uh, doesn't dress appropriately. Does, uh, what, do you, what do you think? Well, I'm trying to answer. I'm trying to think. Of, I read it out, but didn't listen to what I was saying. <laughs> you know, you do. Well, you're going to have to, you know. Uh, her, well, let, no, let me, let me no, paraphrase think, it for you. I, her mother is dressing inappropriately, and right. she's hoping that her mother will. No, marry. I. Well, I did, she, her mother. Her, her mother. Her, his mother. Yes, her yeah, mother. Angel. In. She probably thinks she's dressing appropriately, and we can't tell because there's no picture. There's only a picture of a bird in there. Yeah, well, that's, that's CBS's way of letting me know that it's a Twitter as opposed to an email. They put a photograph of a, of a bird. I'm not kidding. Oh, by the way, when you were here last time, do you remember the, we had this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's do you want cool. it, or are you okay with being you? No, I'm okay. Because I could, I could wear this. I did it. I and was... you could wear one of me. And we could talk to each other. No, I quite like doing this. This is what I did last time. I think that's quite All right, interesting. And, and I, I've got one of me, so I'll do the one of me, right? Are, are you ready? It, shouldn't it be this? No, you know, I, I've, got, right, I've got my one. Are you ready? <laughs> I can feel chemistry. What? Yeah. You feel chemistry? I, I, can't, I, can't see. <laughs> I can feel geography. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, I can feel mathematics. We'll be right back after the commercial. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everybody. I was uh, doing emails with and Twitters with Eddie, and we forgot to mention that Eddie is also hosting the Independent Spirit Awards Friday, March the 5th at 8 p.m. on the IFC. And my documentary's up, I believe, on, on the 2nd of March, which you didn't know. That's the other thing. We can come back for that. And my socks are available. All right. Sure. right that's, uh, <laughs> Independence Spirit. Eddie, has all right, everybody right, off right, right. you. Right. <laughs> 
My first scheduled proper guest of the evening. <laughs> Bing bong! Uh, get out of here, Eddie. Right back. <laughs> Welcome back. I always like to use the Spanish word of the day in a sentence so that it helps me remember the word. And I, but I can't see what it is today. It's written down here, but I don't have my gaffers. So, <laughs> please, please, hobos, it's not that impressive. <laughs> anyway, is it time for the email -y Twitter jingle? Um, the, wait, don't. <gasps> Eddie Izzard is here, everyone! <laughs> are you really, are you really him? Yes. Wait. It's stuck. No, no, I, I think it's stuck. I'll sit over there, though. It's really, it's nailed to the floor. Yeah. You're never going to get that out of there. Oh, God. I had a gin and tonic out there, and it really, try and lift a table that's nailed to the floor after a gin and tonic is not advisable. Well, you want to move a chair? I'll help you. The chairs are yeah. good. Yeah, all right. Where do you want to put it? We just throw it. All right. Ready? Where you want to put it there? Where just, are you throwing it? Just throw it. Where, where, though? Anywhere. I don't want it to land on me. On... No, you won't. Over there. Do you want to put it out the window? We'll just throw it out there. Or we'll just throw it over there. Okay, then. You we'll ready? just throw it. All right. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah. That's <laughs> It's really good. Yeah. Now, don't, sm don't smash it. Don't smash it. All right, uh, yeah. It's just, it's the smashing thing is great. Yeah, well, I don't know. Can we go around to your house and smash your stuff then? Well, no. But, you know, it's, you know, sometimes you just got to come in and smash them. Eddie, tell me about your new project. What's going on? Well... <laughs> We've invented windows in Britain. What? And I know that you've been trying it for some time. I know. It's, uh, and we hope to get to the moon with the windows. <laughs> it's, we just, Not the moon again. We just, Not the moon again. We just, <laughs> if we can get the rest of the spacecraft <laughs> and attach it to the window, yeah, yeah. we can get to the moon. I, I think I've got some foil. <laughs> That's important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you need they foil that. because they if you're going... Look, it stands on its own. <laughs> Angels, I need you to solve this. Do you know what? It's funny that you're here, uh, because I was just about to do the uh, emails and the tweets, and then I noticed that your DVD's here. Believe the Eddie Izzard story. It's awesome. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, All right, it's, I'll do the emails now, right? It's my story. All right. Is it, your, is it a story you made up, or is it the story no, of No, it's the story of me from up to, up to this point. Not to this point, but up to this point. It's a, it's a, it's a documentary about my life. Documentary it's, about your life? Yeah, do you have a documentary about your life? Yes, I do. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm thinking of making one, though. Yeah? Yeah. What happens is that I, I have to go to a desert island. Right. And when I'm at the desert island, I have to... I, and all I have is a spoon and a record player, and I have to build myself a dwelling place. Yeah. That, go, that goes round like a circular restaurant on the record player. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And, and learn how to... Uh... You could put a mouse on the record player and he would have a circular restaurant if you gave him a biscuit. No, no, if you give the mouse the biscuit, it'll just head off into the jungle. Uh, do you spin the record player at 33? Which is very old. No, it's 45, isn't it? 45 oh, goes really Then I they get lost. The mouse goes, oh, I can't see. But... I use an iPod now. <laughs> yeah, iPods, yes. They, might, they spin much faster. They're, they're much faster. <laughs> hey, do you, uh, do you want to do the emails and the Twitters? Yes, emails and Twitters. All right. Do you want to just do the jingle ourself? We'll sing it ourselves. Emails and Twitters. Oh, e right, e email and Twitter. They are very good, but they will applaud anything. Yes. <laughs> They're think... hobos. They're just trying to keep their hands warm. I understand that. You know what hobo is short for? Hoboken? 
could be. But that's a town, isn't it? This place? Yes, that's true. No, it's Hobbly Boys. Hobbly Boys? <laughs> could be. Little Hobbly Boys. Uh -huh. Doesn't right. really need to be shortened down much, but anyway. Yeah. Tell me, what happened? Tell me the FBI. It's FBI, isn't it? It's, not the, the, it's not the FBI. FBI. Just because they, no, it's the FBI. FBI, Twitter's from the FBI. He thinks the FBI are blacking out. They're, they're not blacking out the addresses. They're blacked out so that other people can't see on TV and then stalk these people. Right. <laughs> I think it might be the FBI. <laughs> do the FBI do Twitter? That would be great. We're looking for this guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> Have you retweet if you see him? Yeah. <laughs> that would work. They don't use it. They don't think. Absolutely. Rindy, uh, this is from Rindy in Newton in Illinois. Rindy, you have names in America that just are not real. Rindy. <laughs> That's not any part of the lexicon of British names. Yes, it is. Well, just because it's not a British name doesn't mean I it's know, not I a know. name. It means they got in the Mayfire, they went across, and then said, let's make it up. No, 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 no. no. Here's, here's what happened. All the, the, uh, the, the system in England, they said, all you Rindies, get on that boat and get out of here. <laughs> and Buffunza and Jim Jams and Mr. Yeah. Clint <laughs> All you Jim Jams and, it and Todds. <laughs> all you Todds, get out of here. Yes. Todd, Mr. Sperm and Sham Slum. Anyway, what, is, what does Rindy say? Mr. Sperm? Mr. Sperm. Sperm is, sperm is a very pleasant word in the old country. It's not a bad word here, you play your cards, right? it's, a, it, it, it's what makes the world go round. I thought that was gravity. Money. Oh. Money, gravity sperm, money, sperm and gravity make the world go round. <laughs> that was a great movie starring Abbott and Costello. Was it? Einstein. All right, okay. Rindy in Newton, Illinois says, Greg, have you ever considered being a model for a romance novel? That, that was probably for you. A model? Like like a little model, like an action model? No, I think like like Fabio. You know, you, you, you open up your chest and uh, then... Your you look, chest? Yeah, you open up your chest and reveal <laughs> your organs. <laughs> you go, look everyone, my heart is still beating. <laughs> That we love for you. I want to see that one. I yeah, want, to, I awesome. want to see that nut novel. And he opened his he heart. He opened his chest and his heart was still beating she, with love. She wanted to have duty with him, but no, because it's the. Because, uh, please, I can't have sex. I've got my. Uh, I've just had a heart operation. <laughs> so, so no. Wow. Hey, look at this. This is from Jack in Sanford, uh, Alabama. But he says, "Dear Craig, what is Eddie Izzard's first memory?" And you're here. Really. Isn't that amazing? That's a really interesting question. I, my, my, first, my first memory was... was uh, is it in your film? Believe the ideas are sorry. It could well be. It could well be. I, it, it show, I think it's... Because there's a picture of my mother. There's a, there's a video film of my mother. And I had this little tiger. And the tiger was there. A, and, real, a real tiger? A uh, real, very small real tiger. But... <laughs> we but, don't say midget. <laughs> no, I said very small real tiger. Ah. But no, he's not... No, I think, but I was born in the year of the tiger, so it all makes sense. So was I. Were you? 1962. 62. Are you 62? Yes. No, I'm 47, but yeah. I was born in 1962. I'm 48. When's your birthday? May 17th. When's your birthday? February 2nd. So uh, is February mine. 7th. February 7th. <laughs> no, me and Chris Rock, bizarrely, and Charles Dickens. Chris Rock is yeah. 47? No, it's February 7th. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, he's like 14 or no, something. He's, isn't no, he? he's four years younger than us. Oh, 62, yeah. good year. High five this in America. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> we, I learnt that here. I didn't learn that no, in the UK. No, you didn't learn no. that, Brent, did you, no. your high five? That was developed on the Mayfly. They said, hey, we're on the Mayfly. Yeah. Hey, high five. Yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. like to say goodnight with our own special song. Take it, Eddie. Singing the stuff about the end of the show. End, the of, end, the end of the show. End of the show. End of the show. There's no end more show. show. Attractive people. Attractive people. <laughs> There's no more show. There is. It's all done. But we're leaving no you more show. with attractive people in your mind. No more show. In your mind. There's no more show. In your mind. No more show. Let's have a look 
look at the tweets and the emails then. What? Who can be at the door? I'm trying to do the show. Call Wyatt's at the Izzard, everybody! <laughs> But in case it, you know. No, Eddie, Eddie. No. No, no, no. It, no, no, no. Eddie, Eddie, no. There you go. There you go. Eddie, look, look. Ah! 111 great white spottings. Eddie, I was just about to do the tweets and emails. I don't suppose I can persuade you to help me out, can I? No. Okay. Are you all right? <laughs> Exhausting. <laughs> we, well, that was a lot of we stuff. We planned that. We planned that for a year. All that. <laughs> a year we've worked on I know. That. How do you think it worked? We did dress rehearsals. We did, you know, like the wedding. <laughs> right. I thought it felt unstructured, you know? It felt like you didn't know what I was going to do. I, I know. That's the artifice of the whole I thing, of know. course. Yeah, that's it. We've got, we've, it's a script. It's a script. <laughs> You all right? I'll fill in some time while you get your breath back. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a cold night, Sarge. <laughs> cold night here in, the, here in the trenches. That's right there, young'un. But don't you worry, because I got here me mouth organ. <laughs> Sarge, where'd you get that mouth, mouth organ? It's really, really small there, that <laughs> Well, oh, actually, it's normal size. It's normal size. I just got very big hands <laughs> <laughs> and a huge face to match. All right then, let's go. All right, ready? This is from Vancouver in Canada. Um, <laughs> you enjoy Canada? That's a nice place. Isn't Canada. It? I went all through. I just toured through Canada. Oh, it's lovely, oh, it's isn't it? Good. It's lovely. There, Vancouver, discovered by Captain Vancouver. Really? Yeah. He just drove up and said, "This is me." And <laughs> it was. It's true. Captain Vancouver? Yeah. Was it, now, was it Captain Vancouver or Captain Vancouver? Oh, good point. I probably <laughs> forgot in olden days, Captain Vancouver. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this is prob probably Captain means Captain of, of the cover. Captain, yeah. Captain Van Cover. Ca Captain Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> we had it. We, we had it, didn't we? And then we lost it. All right. Okay, it's a boring okay, question, yeah. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, this is from Crawford and Dune in I Scotland. I can't read them. Oh, you can you, you need your glasses? Yeah. All right. remember, remember these had these last time? Oh, yeah. Same one. James right. Bond spec. Right, ding, yeah, ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. All right. Uh, this is from Crawford and Dune in Scotland. Dune, Scotland. Scotland. I'm originally Scotland. from Scotland. Yes. yes. Uh, hi, hi, Craig. I'll, would you want me to do it in a Scottish accent? Yeah. All right. Hi, Craig. I think... <laughs> Scottish All right, you do it in a Scottish Hi, hey, Craig, I think my new flat is haunted. This has put my, a damper on my sex life. How can I get rid of it? That was very good. Very, very good. Yeah. Well, like, now, here's a problem. This is, uh, Crawford is a problem. His flat is haunted and it's put a damper on his sex life. So he needs to get an exorcism or a sex partner who loves ghosts. Or shag the ghost. Shag the ghost! <laughs> is not of the gender which she normally expresses a preference for. Maybe no, she's no biggie, no biggie. It's a ghost. I mean, you know. Doesn't count if it's a ghost? Yeah. The, what's, what happens in the ghost stays in the... What happens? <laughs> it's at, like after three days at sea or uh, six hours in prison or ghost day time. What, what, <laughs> what happens in the haunted house stays in stays the haunted house. Stays in the haunted house. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, I've, I've melted this. Sorry. You, did you drop your... I've, I've made a lot of a mess. All right, you're uh -huh. <laughs> Sarge. Oh, yeah, all right. He went... No, we're all right. All right, here's one. Um, this is from Fernanda in Santiago in Santi Chile. Santiago. Santiago. Si. <laughs> She says, uh, I speak Spanish and English. I want to learn another language. Any suggestions? Spanish and English. Next one I would learn is uh, Spanish and English. Uh, Russian. No, Arabic. Russian or Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> you see the reaction from the audience? The, actual, the audience was like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, this is my thinking. We should learn Russian. I want to learn Russian to get in there and talk to the Russian guys and say, hey, and chill. And that's cool. Because you think they don't know that they don't have the words hey and chill, and that's at the source of the problem? No, no. I'm not going to teach. I'm not going to teach them the words hey and chill. I'm just going to go and say hey and chill, but in Russian. 
Hello, chill. Oh, hey, how oh, you oh. doing? Uh, got any schnapps and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> And then same uh, in Arabic, but not the schnapps bit. Right, know. okay. I was born in an Arabic country. So yeah, you were born in Yemen. I was you? born in Yemen. Yeah. Do you like Shark Week? This is a security question. Shark Week. Yeah, it's a security question. Is it question. Shark Week? It's Shark Week this week. Uh, I, I'm, I'm scared of shark when because when it's coming when it's coming towards you and 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 you taste so good, then <laughs> then. Go, <laughs> so, but it's, 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 the, it's the timing, isn't it? You're going to get the shark come, shark's going to come to about here with a big mouth, and then you've got to go there. Yeah, yeah. And the mouth, there. I think just go for one eye. Apparently, when he gets close, you go, what's that? And he goes, what? And it, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's how you've survived. <laughs> if you managed to do that, you would be a genius. A live genius. A live genius, yeah. This is from Carolyn in Sisters, Oregon. Right. Oregon's nice. You ever been up there? Uh, yes, Oregon, yes. It's great. It's all the way up It's all up the side. Yeah, yeah. I played Portland, Oregon. The crazy. Portland, Oregon. Yeah, did you do that little theater with the crazy dressing room with three TVs in it? No. Oh. <laughs> I might have, I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I try to remember the name of it. Play many places, yeah. but, they're, but they're cool. They've all got, they have things. They, they have all have their things. They have trousers and sharks. Sharks wearing trousers, that's what I'd like to see. The single pant leg with the little fins out the bottom. Then we would take them seriously. Yeah. Then you say, then, I, right, yeah, yeah. Then we, we would go, oh, it's coming right for us. They go, what is your point? We would yeah. invest in sharks then. You're right. You're right. You're, uh, you're, okay. Hi, Craig. My husband of 47 years is riding his bicycle from Canada to Mexico. What should I do for fun? <laughs> Drive a tank from uh, New York to Spain. <laughs> All right, now, I, look. The long way around. The, oh. I see, Bear yeah, 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 no. The Bering Straits in. The Bering Straits. Wait, the Bering Straits, still 50 miles of open water well, there. You can't, yeah. What kind of tank are we talking about, man? Bailey Bridge. We'll build a Bailey Bailey, Bridge. A Bailey. If that can be done, we better all start speaking Russian right away. Absolutely. <laughs> They never thought of a Bailey Bridge over there. If what you, is if, a Bailey Bridge? If you watch uh, the, the a Bridge Too Far, the Bailey Bridge is the British bridge that you... And America, you know, we, they, they have quicker bridges now. They have right, quicker right, bridges. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a bridge. I'd, I'd, I'd suggest some form of uh, uh, class flower arranging or... <laughs> Shag a ghost. Shag a ghost, yes. 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 That's a, that's a program, isn't it? Ghost shaggers. <laughs> Jeff won't. Jeff would like it, yes. He's something of a ghost, except sort of bony. Yes. <laughs> um, we're out of time, Eddie. Do I need to mention my thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to mention that. Yeah, uh, Eddie, <laughs> that film that's out about you called Believe, uh, uh, is that out right now? Well, it is out. Believe, well, it's out. It's available on the uh, Epic's website, but it's, it's Believe the Documents called Believe the Eddie is Our Story, but it's just been Emmy nominated. That is what is a brilliant Emmy thing. nominated? Yeah. Emmy nominated? And, and, and if you go to the Epic's website, you can see it. It really is a story about struggle. I was just in a, in a uh, getting some uh, Thai food last night, and the guy said he was a musician. He's saying thank you for Believe Story, because it's just a story of anyone's struggle. Anyone's struggle. struggle. Right. It is a human struggle thing. So I just, we all struggled our way through. And that, it's a really good film to, to watch. That. It's on the Epic's website, and you can see lots of other films. You get a free pass for a whole week if you go on. So, yeah. So I, I might I not even be able to finish the rest of this show. I'm going to go and do it right now. <laughs> Or maybe we'll be back in the room. Here he is, Art, everybody! <laughs> my first guest tonight is an extremely talented comedian. Uh, he's my, maybe my favourite comedian in the world. He's very attractive. He's performing tomorrow night at the Hollywood Bowl here in Los Angeles. He's the first comedian to perform a solo show at the Bowl, you know, doing comedy. I, I did a solo piece at the Bowl myself, but I was in the audience. <laughs> Oh, uh, Eddie.
already uh, Jeff's arm's a bit sore, so careful. <laughs> All right then. I, I think that. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Good. Well done. That looks, right. looks like he's got. Yeah, it looks like he's got a very long hand, and he's leaning over yeah. to try and uh, grab something. No, that's much better. Thanks, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it visually just before you introduced. I just saw. Uh, yeah, I know how to fix this. Yes, I thought. I I'm amazed that you're doing the Hollywood Bowl. That's a hell of a gig. Hollywood Bowl. It seemed like someone should grab it. But Monty Python played it 30, 30 years. Yes, ago. but there were hordes of them. Well, yes, yes. You'll be but, on your own. But they, they, but they were. They are. They were and are oh my gods. They are my comedy no, gods. I think I've, I that. think I've stolen everything from them because I'm just doing. No, I stole everything. Well, from between them. us, yeah, we all stole. I everything. got that rabbit that I have on the show here. I stole that. Oh, the big yeah. huge rabbit. Yeah, but you got. No, small, I've got the small, small rabbit. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. No, you have. Yeah, that was that was the fearsome rabbit. They're the fearsome rabbit. Yes. But I I changed it uh, just enough so that they can't. See <laughs> <me>. <laughs> that is that is the art of creativity. It's, or it's, stealing. Stealing yeah. with adjustments, which, and if anyone says that's really close, you say, well, that's homage. Homage, homage. yes. <laughs> which reminds me, I haven't seen you since France. We were in Paris together. We were in Paris together, it seems like, the, well, it was... About three weeks ago. I was say two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. <laughs> It feels like a lifetime ago. It was. The, well, the lifetime of a small aquatic creature that only lives for about three weeks. Oh, goldfish. You know, goldfish have a 30-second memory, so they don't know how long they live. They, they never have fear. They don't have worries. They can't remember their worries. You know, gold... I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but... No, anyway, I, I, just, I, like it. I, I think it. I think it's... I think I'd like to... What, what were you saying again? I forgot. The goldfish. <laughs> That's it. Ah, if, see, see what I did. If I, you were, if you were a chat, <laughs> chat fish, if you were a chat, if you were a chat show host on a goldfish uh, television, uh, television yeah. show, but they, then, would, they wouldn't know that they watch television. They'd just swim by and go, "What the hell's that thing over there?" Right? And you'd ask the same question. So how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's it like working with Tom Cruise? Uh, yeah, that one. You ever worked with Tom Cruise? I have. I did. Uh, uh, hang on. Hang on. No, no, I'll tell you why. Valkyrie. I, I did a film. Oh, uh, the Valkyrie, Valkyrie film, yes. Which I was going to call Ukulele. <laughs> and I thought, I did not do the film Ukulele. He's with Tom a very naughty Nazi and he's got some things to do. Exactly. Yeah, so. I know, that's. Exactly so. Yeah, we, uh, the assassin, we tried to kill Hitler and didn't quite make it. Yeah, no, it's right. So, listen, are you following this thing in Britain, this uh, scandal with the new yes. world and the. Yes. Because you, you live over there partially, don't you? Uh, yes, no, I do. I, I'm there, I'm here, I'm in Paris You're where I'm working. I am somewhat international. <laughs> I am. Which was a much bigger laugh than I expected. Yeah. Uh, That's but, because if they don't laugh, the uh, warm up guy gets killed. <laughs> it's the electricity yeah, thing. Yeah, like, what? No, well, I mean, it, it's everything is going bizarre. I, I just, I don't think anyone in Britain could believe that someone could hack a phone uh, of, of someone who was, uh, they, they, you know, was murdered and they, they I know, I mean, it's, it's crazy. That is just off the level, but it, it looks like that that paper was doing it all the time. The paper. The Do you think you've ever had your phone hacked? Well, I, I don't think I'm not on any of the list, and I, um, you know, so. Did you feel uh, a little sad about that? Really? Well, there is. <laughs> I think some people go, will be going, why wasn't I hacked? But no, I'm quite happy not to be hacked, unless I was hacked, and then I'm not happy to be hacked. Yeah. Um, but well, I have no Don't you do anything naughty? Don't you ask for things? Do you, like, do you order, you know, bad things over the phone? <laughs> no, I, I, not really. Um, no, once you've told everyone you're transvestite, there's not a huge amount to get out of the closet. You know? To say, and also, I like wearing men's clothes from time to time. And that, <laughs> well, maybe, that, maybe that's when they bust you out and go, wait a minute, <laughs> it's us wearing trousers again. <laughs> We've got them this time. That's what I do get, uh, you know, a lot of grief for, you know. Like, Why are you wearing trousers? I do actually, people actually <laughs> say, well, I haven't you seen you wearing uh, ladies' clothing for a very long it's time. It's not ladies' clothing, it's mine, I bought um, well, it. Well, I know what you mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, so, I haven't seen you wearing that particular style of garment yes, I, in some time. No, no, I know, because uh, I, I just lost them. Right. I lost them. It was going through uh, customs, and they said, hey, we're confiscating them. Yeah, we're taking these. Yes. Yeah, so. They look, they'll be great for our parties. <laughs> that was, that was the thing, and so, so I have to buy more stuff now. So that was the problem. Well, you were in Paris. That's a, that's a great place to buy uh, delicious undergarments, etc. Well... No, Paris was better for the language because I did the gig in French. You language. were doing the shows in that, French. That was my practice for Hollywood Bowl. Seventy-one gigs. Wait, wait! In they French. speak English in Hollywood. I know. 
So very little of the Hollywood Bowl show, and there's one or two tickets left. If you want to just be sitting in a nice place, because I think at the back, because people are reluctant to buy tickets at the back, but I think it's actually the best view. No, the, ba the back's good, because it, that, that way you can smoke marijuana with, unhindered by this, the LAPD. This is... Hey, that's this, what people do at the Hollywood Bowl. That's why you're applauding, because it's you. It, <laughs> it's the medicinal stuff. Yeah, it? right. And uh, it's, it's just beautiful, because you can see the whole gig, you can see the thing, and they've got big screens, and then up the back, and you can see everyone. The event is beautiful. Do you have an orchestra there with you? I have a very, very tiny orchestra that uh, you can fit it in your pocket, and you blow it up with a <laughs> pump, and it's inflatable orchestra. No, because the key thing... Huh. That's not... That is not how you masturbate, I tell you. That is a bicycle pump. I've been doing it wrong and still enjoying it. I think you're fine. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, no. That's the whole point. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it on my own. So uh, no orchestra. The orchestra has been oh, wow. uh, told just just hang around, guys. And there's all these guys with violins and in the as you. Are get you getting a lot gig. of pushback from the classical music <laughs> community? <laughs> No, you're fine. If you come to the gig tomorrow, you're fine as you walk up and, and buy things and stuff. There's going to be a lot of violinists just kicking their heels around, <laughs> scratching their backs with the thing. Are you, are you nervous? Do you, get, do you get nervous about it? You, I mean, you probably do. No, I find nerves are not very useful to have, so I decided to remove nerves from... <laughs> this is great news. How do you do it? Um, you do it by practicing in French. Uh, if, if you've done, it, well, the, that, there, is a, there is a truth in that. If you if you push the fear back by doing gigs in a second language, doing gigs in English must be a little bit easier. So I have pushed back the boundaries of my mental fear because a lot of our battles are in our own heads. So that's my my trick. You're kind of like helpful. <laughs> You're kind of like comedy Oprah. Well. Well, it's, it's, you know, you, you learn a few tricks. As soon as you walk out the door wearing a skirt, you learn a few yeah. things. Yeah. Now, Oprah has he I said that before as well. Well, that's true. Uh, if, you're, if you're a bloke doing that, it's tricky for women as well. But, um, you know, it's, it's just something I have learned. I, I, I've got something to ask you. I yeah. you know the thing that's going on in Britain and you were thinking about running for Parliament. Yes, yes, yes. Are you still going to do it? Uh, yes, in 2020. Really? You're dead? In nine years' time. And I keep saying this and people go, nine? Why nine? Because I said ten years a year ago, so... Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I see uh, there'll be a pattern emerging. Each year you will take a year off until it it's time to so, go. But, but oh, when you're I a clever one, is there? <laughs> but in interviews, the first time I say it to journalists, they say, why nine years? They go mad about the nine years. But you just... Uh, I just say, I said ten years last year. Oh. Uh, they, think there's some, they think there's some covert, how, how nine? What nine? Nine special? Three into nine goes three times. Three times. Well, what if the, uh, as you know, I'm a very strict Mayan, so uh, <laughs> next year... Oh, yeah, well it, well, it was supposed to kick off in May 2000. That was supposed to end of the do -dah. Oh, really? Oh. And that didn't happen. And if you look back amongst the years, there have been a lot of end of the do -dahs. There has, there's yeah. Been, there's been a couple this year, actually. And I really want to... Do you ever have on the people to say a bit of accountability of what happened on no, May 2000? No, it's funny. They rarely want to do talk shows the day after that it's meant yeah. to be the end of the world. That's and it's very difficult to book them because they say, would you like to come on on the 22nd? And they say, well, I'm sorry, but it's the end of the world on the 21st, so I'm unavailable on the 22nd. <laughs> It, it does seem I wrong. did have a guy on once, though, who claimed to talk to aliens. Oh, yeah? He'd been probed by aliens and stuff. Probe? Why can't they just... Why do they have to probe... You know, there's the aim... And the, there's, why don't they just say, hi, how are you? Or just do that. that then. Blow up on yeah. That's... Where, where in this mime does your penis start? Over there. Is that... I just caught my eye, that's all. I can't believe it's, it's time already. I'm very excited about your show at the Hollywood Bowl, though. Congratulations on doing that. It's quite, Thank you it's quite something. Should we, uh, should we do an awkward pause, a mouth organ, or touch my glittery ball? Mouth organ? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that unusual? No, I just, you surprised me. You were very definite, went for the mouth organ. No, I've been looking forward to mouth organ. Because <laughs> in my mind, I'm good at it. Well, you know, you know that if you can play it, you win the gold mouth organ, which is actually a very expensive mouth organ that's kept under a sort of biscuit tin off to the side there. Well, I know all that, you know, if you see it, and to tell you, sometimes someone just pulls one out and goes, and yeah. it's just great. Oh, it's fantastic. But then sometimes you see a guy in the street doing suck blow, which is... <laughs> and that's not... That, that's suck blow. I've said that's suck blow. That's suck blow, yeah. Well, let's, let's, see, let's see what you got then. Uh, you got one? 
Yeah, I've got one here. This, this one's got all my stuff. Like, oh, careful now. Whoa. Wow, you're nuts. Are you just, that warming up? You warming up? Oh, all right. Wait, that, that was impeding your performance. It's down the bottom now. I, I'm doing suck blood. Have you got a better one than me? Yes. <laughs> no, actually, this is a little one. You can blow it if you want. Oh, okay then. <laughs> actually, you know what? This is rubbish. It's not as good as that one. That's good. in a bit of an awkward moment backstage, didn't you? Yes, I saw you were kind of uh, uh, fooling around with Eddie a well, little bit. Well, yes, a little bit. I met him a couple of years ago at a dinner, and I remember just feeling so jealous because he looked so much better in a skirt than I did. Yeah. So we were just talking dresses I find that then. hard to believe. <laughs> in fact, it's a lie. Haley. He didn't look better. I mean, Eddie's my friend. I love him dearly. Oh, but... so you know what his legs look like, too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I do a little bit. Everyone, and I'm here shopping in Paris with my friend Eddie, and Kristen is here as well, tagging along. Hey, Eddie. Friend. Very nice, I know. Eddie, you've worked in Paris a lot, haven't you? Did you, you design this square? Well, we made this, I, I put this up uh, last year. Um, we cut through here, this was a big church, and we thought we'd cut through here and put up some really distressed looking walls. It looks very real, and, and the French people have really taken it. They, they must be very grateful for your architectural work that you've done. They, they do like that. I like the this painting stuff. and stuff. Do you ever buy these? Do you, do you have a place here? No, I, I, I'm staying in the place at the moment because I'm doing my gigs here because I'm insane. No, you do. You you stand up in French for that. Tous les spectacles en français. Et c'est plus facile de faire les spectacles en français. I'm on peut le faire. On peut le faire. On doit le faire parce que je peux. I think the whole world should be a big melting pot, like Manhattan, a massive Manhattan. This is my, this is my simple idea for the future of the world. That the whole world should be like Manhattan. Yeah. Because... What about the pee pee smell? I'm worried about no. the pee pee smell. <laughs> right. No, the pee pee smell goes with it. Goes with the world. Right. But imagine, if everyone's working in different languages in different countries, then we all get to know each other better. Right. So it's the separate. That I disagree with. It's the it's the crossing over, and you don't become homogenized. We all don't all become the same. You just go and you. I'm going to do it in French. I want to do it in German, Russian, and Arabic. And I was born in an Arabic country. You're so it's cultured. Very nice. He's very cultured. This is not you. This it's is none of your. It's intoxicating. Well, that, you're just drunk. I think you're just. <laughs> yes, to start it's the way you talk to me. Guys. A couple of drinks. The guys here do the paintings. They, they they're actually very good, though, aren't they? I mean, look, I, I like know that. No, I I like that. This is nice. Uh, this is this is beautiful. This was original. This was outside. This is Montmartre. That's this big lumpy hill, as you can see, because Paris is kind of flattish, and then there's this lump of a hill, Montmartre. They got the Sacre Coeur over there, this big churchy thing, and this was where all the artists could hang out. It was outside Paris, and the the road at the bottom, Rue Pigalle, uh, the, down there, that was all the sex thing because it but was outside Paris. That's where your theater is. No? In the sex area. I uh, know. Are you doing anything sexy in your show? Do you do any? Well, I think people do come in thinking they're buying tickets for some sort of sex show. Ooh. And then I try and <laughs> persuade them that I'm not. But look, see, cabaret show, there's cabaret shows everywhere. There's 500 comedy shows a night. 500. 500? Goes yeah. up to 800. Do you ever go and see any of them? Uh, my French is just at the level where I can understand most of it, but not the punchlines, <laughs> which is a really <laughs> annoying thing. It really is annoying. Yeah. Is there such a thing as a French sense of humor? Do there, is there a different sense of humor? Because I was I'm very confused. No, I've got big theories on this. All right, go okay. There is no difference in sense of humor in the world. Really? Yeah, but broadly, and I can prove this too, broadly there's a there's a mainstream sense of humor in every country, every developed country. Developing countries just can't, you know, they can't afford to live, so so yeah. we just got to take the developed countries. So there's a mainstream sense of humor, and then there's an alternative sense of humor. Right. And that's the difference. So, and it's like, it's like music. REM's a band, an alternative band. They'll right. play to a more alternative music audience in every developed country, in France, in Germany, in America. Right. And then there's a more mainstream bands, and they'll play to a more mainstream 
audience. And like like humor, like uh, Monty Python has its own alternative audience. I was like, audience. so there's Jay Leno, and then there's Dave. Yeah, right. And so, so Dave is a more alternative Dave's audience. Dave's a little more alternative. And the alternative audiences in France will pick up on him, and in Germany. And some French kids just told me yesterday that the first, this is the first generation now who actually want to listen to the stuff in English, films in English, with subtitles as opposed to dub, because they want to get the real what's coming through. So they're actually downloading stuff, um, which they shouldn't be downloading, just to get the real stuff, because it... And these are guys who are running. Yeah, very good. Well, you've run a lot of marathons. Are you still doing it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do more. Yeah. What, with those guys? Not with those guys. Yeah, you'd have to Specifically not with those guys. Yeah, they're, 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 a bit, they're not going fast enough. No, they don't go fast enough. I've got some money. Look, do you want to get some postcards yes. while we're here? Go on, then. Postcards. Yes. Well, I live here, so... Kitties? Oh, well, don't you want to get some... There's a Picasso cat. Yeah. You know, that's, that's nice. Picasso. No, Picasso. That's the yeah, Picasso. Oh, Picasso. Picasso or Picasso. Picasso, that's nice. I'm going to get one of those. And, uh... Oh, uh there's maybe some photographs. It, a, there's a danger word there. Well, because Le Chat is the cat and La Chat is, um... Ooh la la! Really? Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, a snow globe. What? Yes. Look, a snow globe with you get dancing a, a girls. you back your iPhone. Oh, actually, I do quite like that. Yeah. A tiny mug. Get that tiny mug for your desk. That says uh, Paris. I, I should get it for my for the guests because I've got the snake mug. Paris right? Jutain. That's Paris. I love you. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, the cup and uh, maybe the Happy Days car. Is it ha <laughs> Happy Flower? Happy Flower. <laughs> well, let's let's get that then. Um, Kristen. Yeah. I'm giving you the money. Go inside and get the stuff, and I'll uh, talk to Eddie about. Uh, man stuff. She's lovely. Would you make my eyes all like sparkly? Like like rainbow swirls, they'd be great. Like sherbet with my eyes. Playing the Hollywood Bowl, then you say? Yeah, Paris, 140 seater. Hollywood Bowl, 17,000 seater. And I what thought, do you good there. What do you prefer? Do you I prefer both. Really, it's, it's like um, it's like go up this way. This looks very nice, little Parisian street. Um, like it's. Uh, I'm lose Kristen. Kristen, we're going up this way. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you didn't say this when Kristen's around. She's a vegetarian. Come on up. No, but I mean, she couldn't have been a vegetarian. Oh, no, she could have been a vegetarian. She could have been a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian. We were talking about before. I was talking about cavemen. Yeah. And were there, were, there must have been some people just gatherers and saying, I'm not going to hunt anything. I'm just going to gather, baby. That was me, for sure. That was you, yeah? Do you yeah. think so? Well, I mean, but why do humans then have their sharp pulling teeth? These are not sharp teeth. Wow. Think of it in the context of really sharp teeth, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is nothing. This is child's play. I don't know. Play. I, 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 think you could, I think you could pull a bit of meat now, apart from those. I know you can't talk yeah. about God on television, can you? Okay. Well, I think you can a little bit. Okay, here's my interesting thing on God, because I don't believe in God. But if, why didn't God make everything vegetarian? If there is a God, because I think it's random. I just think we're just here. Right. But which is, yeah, but I'm in the spiritual way. But if there was a God, why does he make everything from start vegetarian? Because then we'd all just eat plants, and plants would go, oh, I'm really eating okay, well, this, well, this is a... And then no one would actually know about killing at all, except for when your granddad dies. Well, but what if you just ate parts of animals? Like, rather than killing an animal... Just no, I'm like, not, no, 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 no. If you take, if you make everyone so that we didn't even know how to kill... Right. Then that would have worked a lot better. Well, if it... I was God, I'd do that. I'd also get rid of poo and pee, because why do we have waste products? Why don't we just eat stuff and carry on? Yeah. Because the waste products cause so many diseases, there's so yeah. many things you could do if you were gone. But if there is no evil, you can't celebrate the good. Like, if you don't know what it's like to feel pain, then you're not as excited well, when you, you're you not mean, in If you pain. don't have Hitler, you can't really have a good No, but on a, smaller, day. on a smaller uh, scale... Gonna, yeah, but no, I'm just saying, take all that out. You can still have pain and, and, and you can have rotten cabbages. You know, cab oh, this cabbage is awful. Oh, it's awful. Ah, oh, the great cabbages have arrived. What a wonderful day. You're just saying with no, killing. But yeah, I'm just saying with killing. You've got love, you've got sex, you've got uh, creation of things. You've got loads of stuff you can do as a vegetarian and as a non-carnivore. Non, uh, are, you, are you a vegetarian? No. I see. 
But it's just an interesting thought. Yeah, no, it is an interesting thought. I, I still think, though, that there is... Point. I still think, though, that there is... See, and this is proof why we should have come to Paris, because I don't know if we would have had that same discussion in the studio. No, and also this... It's, see, everyone's dead now. This, like, this is actually a film set, and we're only here in... This is, <laughs> it looks a bit like a film set, It does it? look a little bit like a film set. But this is really more much. I'm actually quite a bit taller than Eddie Izzard, but he's wearing heels. <laughs> Being a transvestite has its perks. <laughs> That's very little in the way of a downside that I can see, to be honest. It's pretty, it's a lot better than when I first came out, but yeah, it's good. Yeah, 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 things are... Look, here's why I've called you here this evening, Eddie. Yeah? I'd like you to sing the theme tune. Yeah. Sing the theme tune to the... Why are you walking... I walk Wait, around... Yeah. <laughs> You do that one. All right, then. You sing the theme tune. I'd like you to sing the theme tune to the show. Right. But here's the thing. You're not a singer, are you? No, but my mum was. So within me, there could be a DNA voice somewhere, but I think it's not honed or crafted. Don't worry about it. You know who sang the theme tune last night? I heard a whisper. Yes, it was Larry King. Yes. <laughs> Many people in the audience were walking around like this afterwards. <laughs> Why did he do that to us? Why? But it has... It, did you write the song? Is this your song? Yes, I, every time you sing the song, I get four bucks. You get four... <laughs> so, no. Three bucks? Three, uh, two bucks. Two bucks. I get two bucks. That's good. It's, it's a good... I, I, I see you working. It's a, it's a Scottish thing. A Scottish, it's a Scottish... A Scotsman invented economics, didn't he? Um, Adam Smith. Adam Smith. You didn't know this? Uh, you want to go singing? <laughs> I, of course I know Adam Smith. The Invisible Hand. Did he? No, that's a different answer. No, 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 that's, that's really the invisible, the, the the invisible hand. The yeah, economist, the, the invisible hand. Yeah, yeah, the invisible hand of capitalism. Uh, <laughs> casino capitalism, that's the thing. Casino it, capitalism! That's all the weird stuff where they do, they do uh, 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 stuff, weird stuff, where they make it all disappear. Do you know the lap dance was invented in Finland? <laughs> I know stuff too! <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You have, we have to go on with the show. Please, okay, sing the song. Yeah. Richie Sam. Uh, Craig Ferguson, welcome to the show. <laughs> Very good to be here today. is a fantastic day for uh, America. <laughs> and uh, it's wonderful to be doing the show here today. Uh, it's a much bigger room, as you know. But uh, I do like uh, excellent, it's very excellent to be here. Uh, doing a comedy show is, is my want. I do like to do a wee. <laughs> Comedy show. <laughs> My accent is slightly stronger tonight than usual uh, because I have been back to Scotland. Uh, <laughs> what the hell's going on, man? <laughs> well, I was doing a show. Wait, you don't talk like that. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Izzard is here as well tonight. <laughs> okay, you can agree. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, dear. All right. Hey, hey. I, I can't do you. All right. Yeah. Now, oh, the, 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 the thing comes over. The thing. The thing. And then the, as the man comes over and so, he's doing like this. And, this, and then the, 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 the mouse. And then they plant the flag. They plant the flag. 
So it's actually uh, just at the top of the show here. So uh, Eddie, you're here. You're here to just talk about your show tonight. Yes. Just a, oh, oh, sec. I've got a show. I've Shall got I show you what show you're doing? Yes. Yes. Some of the show. <laughs> I, I believe you're doing Mockingbird Lane. That's going out on NBC tomorrow night. I'm working for NBC. You're working for NBC as well as uh, CBS. It's a crazy, <laughs> insane. How can they do that? Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> When did I do this? Well, when do I talk like that? You're doing Billy for years. <laughs> Billy or Shrek, you're doing that. Like. But you must... If you go back to Scotland now and you pop in a pub, don't you just go a little bit more Scottish? Yeah, I always try to be a bit more Scottish when I'm in Scotland, <laughs> yes. just in case. In case they go... Hey, lads, yes, yeah, keep punching, lads! Forget Punch the Scottish <laughs> back into him! <laughs> Right, tell us. Mockingbird Lane. Mockingbird Lane. It's a reboot of the Monsters. It's on tomorrow night, NBC, uh, uh, at 8 p.m. And it's up to the people. They, they, they've done one pilot. It's up to the people of America to decide if this comes a series. So it's up to you. You turn in, you watch, you use your. Do brain. this. Do you, you do this as well. Do I that. do this a bit yeah. in the show. Not so much though, because I'm. Who do you play in the show? I'm playing Grandpa. Not quite at this. Grandpa speed, Monsters. Then. I'm playing Grandpa. Grandpa but a, Monsters. But a much more evil. Just Monster with no S. No, I like to say Monsters. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'm playing bloody grandpa, right? <laughs> grandpa monsters. They're all monsters. Yes. Not monsters, monsters, which is much nicer. Yeah, yeah, monsters are nicer than monsters. And, and we're a bit uh, weird and off kilter. And it's like, you know, what, what, uh, well, it's just weird. Just watch it. Tomorrow night, you decide. It's up to America. It's just like one of those shows where America decides. <laughs> If you, in some way, if you had a clip, do you have a clip? I have a clip. No way! <laughs> Grandpa, cover yourself. What will the neighbors think? The neighbors should be more concerned with what I'm thinking. never said there was nudity in it. Yeah, it's mainly nude, and then it gets closed, and there's nude, and there's rats. There's rats and See, rats. I did get it right. You do do that a little bit. No, so, 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 so a little bit, and then you... Well, right, a where's bit. this bit? There's none, there's none well, of that that's, bit. that's a bit I drew in for myself. <laughs> While I was trying to think what you were like, I ran around a little just to throw them off the scent. You've got a big room now. You've got yeah, yeah, room. that's all right. Yeah, yeah. The fire's roaring tonight, yeah. see that? <laughs> You've gone up in the world. No, not really. Uh, you've gone up in the world. You, 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 rats turn into you on NBC. Rats? Well, you can do that. You can try that at home. Kids, do try that at home. Get a lot of rats. If you get them to spiral like that, you can. It's, it's tricky, but you can. Ask your parents but, um, first. And with a little bit of that, you oh, Let's play some music. You want to join, would you like to join us, Beth, for a dance? Play the music. We'll dance. Oh, Beth, we'll dance. Oh, Beth, All right, well, let's pretend that you're not here yet. Okay, go to me, just me. Go to me. Go to... Welcome back, everybody. Oh, I... Welcome back to the show where there's nobody here but me and Jeff. Yep, right? That's right. No one else here. Great. Just where you're wrong. Because, look, Eddie Izzard is here, everybody. <laughs> for emails. Just for emails. That's it. Emails. Yeah. Boy, I'm, I'm glad you're here, because what happened was, when you came out at first, and we were, we had, the audience was great, it was going well, then I did the monologue, it died, died, yeah. died. You died? Died. Monologue? No. Died. Why? Because you weren't there. They, I'd set them up to the expectations, and then the bottom just fell out of it. Were you saying crap things? Yeah, I was saying things that weren't funny, uh, but saying them forcefully in the hope that I could bully the audience into laughing. Well, <laughs> you, can by, you can, with editing, just drop in funny laughter on things which are not funny, and apparently make them funny. <laughs> I don't know Is whether, this true? I don't know whether America has tried this, but I believe. No, I don't believe it. Uh, listen, uh, so uh, will you help me do some emails? Emails, yes. Because you're not officially a guest here tonight. No, I'm so just an interloper. Right, all right. <laughs> I had a dream uh, uh, a while back. Well, I've been having this recurring dream right. that I'm the Prime Minister of Australia. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you think it means? It means uh, it means you should put more battery acid in your car, uh, set fire to your trousers more often. I don't know because. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, I feel that, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, here's an email, yeah, this is from Mike in Ohio. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you know Mike? I know Ohio, uh, so uh, I probably know Mike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you know Mike, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I get there now. Yeah, is he in Cleveland? Is that where he's Yeah, from? I don't know. Uh, he's in Ohio, Cleveland. Yeah, Ohio. sure, that's Cleveland. Oh, yeah, I go there all the time. Uh, how did you get there? I take the train. You take a train to Cleveland? Sure, I do. What, what type of train do you like, take? It's like a steam train. Steam train? Sure. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh Dear, uh, this is weird. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff and Eddie Izzard. Already? I say, I say Izzard the American way. Do you I, like that? I, I no. <laughs> oh, right. do, do you prefer Izzard then? Yeah, Izzard or uh, no, uh, Izzard. Uh, God, what did people say? Eddie Izzard. Eddie Izzard. Izzard. No, Izzard. That's what American people say. Izzard. Izzard. Yeah. Eddie like, Izzard. Do, yeah. You, do you like Eddie or do you like Eddie? Oh, I. <laughs> Eddie is hard. Uh, Ed, Eddie, just, just Eddie. Any of them. All, all right, them. all right then. I'm intrigued by this email. It's, all right. Say? Well, it's from Ohio. It says, have you or Jeff or Eddie Izzard ever seen a ghost or a UFO or anything you couldn't explain? No. <laughs> no, but I know there are things I can't explain. But I, I, Can you explain? Well, no, the, the, the ghosts... Well, you know ghosts. You know ghosts, Not yeah? personally, I hope. You know... There should be way more, don't you think? Because things have been dying. There should be dinosaur ghosts. There should be goat ghosts. There should be. There sh we I like what you're doing here. I like that. When you walk out, I mean, I'm talking about this at the moment, but in stand up. But when you walk out the door, you should just be covered in ghosts. If yeah, no, that's very good. And, and the meatpacking district of New York, which is very trendy now. Right. Down there. Meatpacking's always been trendy in well, some areas there, yeah. They were, I think they were killing meat as well as packing it. Yes, and, yeah, they were. And so, so those animals, there just should be tons of goat and, and cow ghosts just Well, here's around. why it doesn't happen, though. The, the only ghosts that are around are uh, the. Uh, there's someone there taking photographs right there. <laughs> We're busy! They could be for the FBI. Do you think the FBI are watching this show? Well, they could be. They, they take photographs and then they show them to Jed Hoover's ghost. Oh! And then he says no. Yeah, and he's uh, like, mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. We'll leave the ghost thing alone. Well, I just think there should be more. Fine, you want a piece of fruit? I would like a piece of fruit. Okay, uh, I, am, I have to keep most of it for the proper guests, but uh, I, can I can give you a midget pineapple, that's all. All right. I'm going to eat this later. Yeah, these eat it later. Because <laughs> if I tore into this now, it would kill me. You, your nails, you could get right in there, though. I, Look I, at those I, nails. You could... You could kill someone with a pineapple. You could have a blood... No, no, that's still murder, even if it's done uh, with a comedy I, fruit. You I, still I, go to jail. <laughs> What is that protecting? That the fruit is obviously saying, look, stay away, everyone, but I am king. And, uh, it's, You wouldn't look at that and think, oh, that must be yummy inside. It, it looks pretty weird and disgusting. But inside, it's yummy. There's Hawaiians watch this show, dude. That's their economy right there. Their economy is pineapple. But I'm saying it's yummy. That's good. I'm just saying don't get freaked out in the supermarket when you go, oh, because like kids. Many people know what pineapples are now, know, Eddie. It's not like you go, oh, Eddie, what is this strange fruit? It's a pineapple, colonials. We know what it is. But wouldn't you say most people know it from the inside out? Most people know it just there. You know? You make a point, I yeah. suppose. Look, uh, plug your show one more time and then... I can up. Hurry up. Ladies and gentlemen, a free one of these to, if you buy it in the shops, for everyone. <laughs> and it's tomorrow night, uh, forget all that, the, tomorrow night, uh, Mockingbird Lane. It's NBC. NBC tomorrow night, Mockingbird Lane. Mocking Bird Lane. All right. Hang on a minute. Stand over there. Stand over there, because then, then it looks like I'm much bigger than you. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 right, I'll introduce you, right? 
Is that making a difference? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> you can't see your feet, so it doesn't work. Well, no, I'm going to do the introduction. Okay, okay. No one knows. Make it, make it, make it. Do you see? It's a su surprise. Okay. <laughs> My first guest is an extremely funny man. The first leg... <laughs> the first leg of his force majeure comedy tour starts this month in the US. <laughs> Who could it be? Eddie Izzard, everybody! Eddie, you seem well. Yes, I'm good. I, um, I'm good. I'm, I'm Foil's War. It's great, isn't it? Have you seen it? If you haven't seen it, it is beautiful. Uh, Michael Kitchen is a phenomenal actor. Unbelievable. Uh, it it's really is British television. It's, it's most best. I mean, you were do, they were doing a comedy thing there, but you've got to watch it. America, you need to watch it. Michael Kitchen is brilliant. The series is brilliant. My brother, Mark, he, he, he said, you got, look at this. I watched one. I bought the entire series. You bought so, it? Uh, yeah, I, you own Files I down, More? Downloaded oh, downloaded it. Downloaded it. Downloaded I downloaded it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, it's yes. based in, in Hastings, Seaside Town. I grew up in Bexhill, five miles from Hastings. You could and be... Uh, well, my well, not with those, uh, those nails. Those, you no. can't be those nails. No, you couldn't be a, a, a member of the, the Her Majesty's Police Force with those nails, could you? I'm not tr why am I trying to be in the police force? Well, because then you could be foil in Foil's War. I see, yes. No, uh, I'd be undercover. I'd be an undercover transvestite operative. Um, <laughs> And, uh, yes, so it... But it, only your hands. Only my hands. Yeah, the rest of you is quite tweedy. It would come, the rest, the rest of it would come, yes. I, I think the only parts of you are transvestite. I think it's only your hands and sometimes your hair. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this could be so. Genetically, they're, they're working on the, the genome, which is the genetic code of uh, a gnome. And, uh, <laughs> that is, that joke is so begging. <laughs> That and, joke, though. And uh, when they've worked it out, because it's got billions or mi multiple millions of Multiple billions? And, yeah, of things. And when they're going to work it out, they're going to say, that's the transvestite thing, and certain people have got it. And I'll go, yeah, that's me. I got it. <laughs> and that's how it's going to work, baby. <laughs> and well, in the meantime, in the, you should watch Falls War. Yes. Uh, I really, and you know the other thing I like about it is it's, the, it's a time in Britain which I think is fascinating. When Britain was, you know, stood alone against yeah. the Nazi menace. Yes, it, yes. Yeah. and I just played a guy, there's a film that should get here, it was made for BBC Two in Britain, uh, playing Sir Robert Watson Watt, playing a Scotsman. Oh. Uh, with a, an edgy Wait, that sounded years. like you were from Scotland well, there when you said absolutely that. Absolutely not, because I did that this entire film, it was Robert Watson Watt, he invented radar. So radar was the thing, so if you know anything about World War II, the, the, um, the bombers were coming over, they Coming over from Germany. Would you Hit like to reenact it? Hitler, well, this uh, is it. Uh, well, I, I'll, I'll be, I could be the, the German Luftwaffe <laughs> and, and you be Britain. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, you, so, you're Britain. So this is me in Britain. Right, this is, and I'll be the Luftwaffe, right? Okay. Really? All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah now you are going to pass the English Tommies. Oh. Oh, my God. Are you going to. <laughs> Are you going to bomb me? Yes, I'm, go I'm going to bomb you. Unless you can detect me. Now. Oh. There we go, go away. Now, having said that, that was, that was uh, Hitler kidnapped the country for 12 years. German people are not actually like that. I've oh, just, of course not. Of course I, just, not, not. I just did two months in Germany doing my show, Alice auf Deutsch. So I'm now doing it in French, German, and Spanish. And I did it in German. The German people, they're laughing their socks off. It was great. Great time in Berlin. Berlin and Hamburg. So, did, yeah. you, did you go to that uh, studio there in Berlin? I've never been uh, to Berlin. I want to see it. Oh, uh, the film studio? No, the, the other one. The, uh, the, the, the sound studios where uh, David Boyd did Heroes and uh, Kraftwerk no, did. No, no, 
no, no, I didn't. No. Oh, you got to go there. Yeah. That's where you record your seminal album. Yeah, I know. Well, it's coming. Well, you, you were in France when I was doing it in French. Yes. That? And yeah, now, yeah, yeah. And now German. Do and you speak these languages, or do you just learn your act? Can I can have Deutsch reden? Yeah, yeah. I have my show have Deutsch gemacht, and uh, my Deutsch is not so good. But I can't be fluent in Deutsch. Yeah, not fluent in Deutsch. Yes. But uh, I can my show have Deutsch gemacht, and I, I do learn it like a. German like, sounds to me like you just kind of like, you know, do an accent, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> And then throw that, in Deutsch a little bit. That is exactly how it works in that country. <laughs> yeah. Entire language. Have you used not Deutsch? This the Deutsch. Well, Sid Caesar used to do a very good called Deutsch, didn't he? On, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah, your, your show of shows. So, yeah, uh, yeah. but I actually learnt the actual language, all the real words. Well, you, you're going to have to do that if the audience is in fact German. Otherwise, they're just staring at you, and yeah, it doesn't really work. This is not so funny. This is not. So yeah. funny. And, and only his hands are transvestites. The rest of him is not a transvestite. This is the thing. So that's and also because I'm tour I'm touring America, right? Mm -hmm. And it's it's all these crazy places, the usual New Yorker thing, but uh, Boston and Cleveland and and Philadelphia and China yes. and China China's going to fit in somewhere. China? I will. I do want to get there. Wow. But in the middle of it, when I get to Chicago, I'm going to leave Chicago, go for the sixth of June. I'm going to go down to Normandy, uh, where the Ooh, Normandy the D Day landing, D -Day, yeah, 70th yeah. anniversary, and I, I'm going to get. I'm going to fly into the Paris airport, Charles de Gaulle, drive up to Normandy, get there about 11 a.m. I'm going to hang out and do some stuff in, you know, just the commemoration and, and remember that day. And then at 7 p.m. I'm going to do a gig in German. 8 p.m. I'm going to go and do, could do a gig in English. And then uh, at 9 p.m. I'll do a gig in French. So three languages. I, I have to say, it's, it's a little bit... <laughs> very good. Yes, absolutely. But... Well, you are very... You're very staunch European, though, aren't you? You, yeah, be, you feel very strongly in, well, it's, in the, it's, the Union of Europe. It's positive. You know, we've got to be trying to move, working together. We've got to learn to work together in some Absolutely. shape or form agree in more. this world. Couldn't Otherwise, agree more. let's forget. Couldn't agree more. And... And my thought on this is that if, if they were fighting back in the 6th of June, if, you, if, if English speakers, Americans, Canadians, British people, French people... Australians and, and New Zealanders... All, yeah, yeah. all the people fighting the Allies, and also the Germans. There must have been some Germans who were going, I hate this Hitler, oh, but I'm, yes, it's part of my country, yeah, so yeah. I've got to do this fighting. Right. If they'd known that in 70 years' time a transvestite's going to do German, then <laughs> English, then French, I hope they would have gone, well, that's positive. I think that's... To move that's, in the right direction. Yes. It's a move in the right direction. And that's... So that's what I do. No, oh, it's, it's very... Are you still going to uh, get involved? In, I thought you were going to run for Mayor of London. Mayor of London 2020. I am going... To, I've just been campaigning back in. There's European elections coming up. So, yes, I'm doing an Al Franken, Senator Al Franken. I'm going to be follow his lead uh, in, uh, in 2020, six years' time. Uh, but you're going to do it in London, not in... Uh, where is he? Minnesota? Yes, yeah, Minnesota. Minnesota? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Uh, Minnesota, Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so he is, and he's up for re election this year. Do vote for Senator Al Franken. I do think he's a wonderful man, and uh, he's, he's tried very hard for his state, so uh, he's up for re election. What are you, are you going to get uh, uh, special things done for London? Less fog, perhaps? <laughs> we don't actually have. I know fog. there's no fog, I know oh, that. No. But uh, no, I haven't got policies right at this time. What about Jack the Ripper? We've got to get that thing cleared up. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're pretty sure that it was Hitler. Um, <laughs> Hitler as a young idiot child yeah. um, running around just doing the dirty there. So, uh, yes. not a good man. Dick Van Dyke's accent, Mary Poppins, that's another Dick one. Dick Van Dyke, I do feel, was going for more of the Australian accent. If you do check it out, the, the Australian accent, it is quite close, the Australian You know, when accent. he was here, Dick Van Dyke, I said, why didn't you do an English accent and chitty chitty bang bang? And he said, did you hear mine in Mary Poppins? <laughs> And that's why he didn't do it. He said, I'll just do my, my regular voice for Chitty right. Bang Bang. Yeah, it, it was slightly Australian. Yeah, a little um, bit. But, so it was, he was getting close, but he was like a couple of continents out. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was just uh, the, the Australian accent kind of comes from a Cockney accent, doesn't it? Sort yes, of. Yes, I suppose it does. Yeah. Cockney accent plus time and uh, oceans. And, uh, <laughs> have you, you've played in Australia, haven't you? I've, yeah, I've gigged over Australia, New yeah. Zealand. Yeah. Is there any country you haven't played in? 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm getting to Kathmandu. I met a guy from Kathmandu yes. while walking down the road. Is this a poem? It does sound. Yeah. It sounds like a Kipling poem. But I was in New York. I'm walking down the road, and I'm uh, and this guy says, "Don't you, don't you do comedy?" And I say, uh, "Yeah, uh, Eddie is like, yeah, okay. Well, what do you do?" So well, I'm I'm a student here. I'm from Kathmandu. I said, "Kathmandu, really?" And I said, "We speak good English." He said, I said, "Do other people speak good English in Kathmandu? Can I play there?" He said, "Yeah, I think in English. Yeah, I think you could do that." I said, "All right, I'll do it." In Kathmandu. And how'd they go? I haven't done it yet. Oh, I see. Uh, but <laughs> what about Iceland? Have you done uh, Iceland? Yes, Iceland's great. No, I've heard about this mayor of Reykjavik. He yeah. seems like a real top-notch uh, well, type. He came from. He's a stand-up. Yeah, kind of John good. John Narr. Is that his name? It could well be. Yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> I'm very impressed with, with him. He seems like a he seems like a good egg. Well, uh, yes, it is. Uh, th there will be more comedians going into this. Like in, in you know, there's lots. I'm of gonna I'm gonna certainly run for the Senate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dare you laugh? <laughs> Why not? Yes. As an, in, as an independent, though, as an independent. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Independent? No, no. I, independent. I, in fact, I don't want to talk to anyone. Just give me your votes and then... <laughs> Give me your votes and let me get on with it. And what will your yeah. policy be? Well, you know, I don't want to talk about that. Just give me the votes and then what? let me get on with it. More socks for people? More socks. Let's clear up this Jack the Ripper business once and for all. In the Senate. In the Senate. And also uh, less fog. Yes. <laughs> More stripy t-shirts. Well, I, I, think it's, I think it's a good idea. All, all uh, convicted felons have to wear stripy t-shirts and carry their luggage around in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Yes. <laughs> That sounds positive. That's I, I would vote for you on that one. <laughs> Good, thanks. So when are you running for that? So that, that's, uh, you're running uh, in November? I don't know, it's still kind of up in the air at this point. Yeah. <laughs> that or do other things. <laughs> yeah, it might be, yeah. Uh, we have to take a commercial break though. Right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Once you get, you know... Well, that's, what? that's what I was wondering. Yeah, I know. You warned me. You did. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with... Uh, what's your name again? Uh, I am... Uh, my name is uh, Jeffrey Trousers. Jeffrey Trousers. <laughs> the, uh, the uh, candidate for Mayor of London. Yes. In, in 1723. One, two, three. Thank you, 12 people. <laughs> But uh, tonight I'm doing a gig in English and Spanish, so that's, that's going to be fun. That's very good. Where are you doing that? I'm going to do that to, to Coronet here in Los Angeles. Oh, yes. That's, where, that's, the, that's the hip place you'll get. You'll get surrounded by people smelling of kale. Yes. <laughs> kale, I don't even know what it is. If they, if they put it on the food thing and they say, do you want some kale? I don't know what it is. Well, it's let a, me explain. I think it sounds like a bloke who was in no. a show once. No, no. <laughs> kale, kale, come on in here. Get on the plate. Do you know the band Coldplay? Yeah. It's them in vegetable form. <laughs> Okay. Is that a good thing? I, I, why not? Yeah, I like eating, Coldplay. Yeah, eating. and I enjoy vegetables. Would you, would you eat them? That goes, that goes If, if a, we were trapped on an island and, you know, and we, ran, we had running water but no food, I would eat Coldplay. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't you? To survive. I, I, if, they, if they were offering, you yeah. know, if they... If no, no, like, even if they weren't. It's survival I'm, of the fittest, Eddie. Well, then you'd have to punch a few people, wouldn't you? Or just take your... You could do your own leg. You could work your way up on yourself to show, to show goodwill as a no, I'd go. No, I'd, first I'd go after the Coldplay drummer because he's the tubbiest. Right. He's not fat. He's not fat in any way. He's just got a little more... You know, he's got, I, I just got a little more heft on him. I haven't measured. I haven't measured that, but... Uh... Well, I'm just painting the scenario for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I'm not, I, there, there's certain things in life that one, you know, I'm, I, I try to do my things, but I never actually sat and worked out which parts of other people I would eat, <laughs> or myself, as I head towards it. I think, you know what I'm going to do on that one? I'm going to deal with that when it comes up. <laughs> when, <laughs> as it happens. Yeah. As it happens. It's an if come basis. I'm not going to. Right, uh, don't, do don't sweat it. But, and um, we're out of time, we're out of time. Out of time? Yes. But I was, I was going to do Scottish and everything. It's, is it not a bad Scottish accent that I've landed here? Are you doing it now? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I did that. 
I did that with Sean Connery. Sean, because I do a very Sean. Everyone does. Yeah, everyone does Sean Connery. Sean we can talk like Sean Connery all night. One that you have to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sean there, and there's, yeah, yes. uh, um, and Sean Connery's there. It's an opening of a play that he was producer on. And uh, Julia Ormond. Julia Ormond can yeah, also sure, do. Yeah, she, she does she first night. With she him. first night. Yeah. She can do. She can do uh, uh, a Sean Connery impression. So he said, "Well, uh, do the, the pre impression." So we're standing there talking like Sean, Sean Connery to him, and then after about you know 30 seconds, a minute, he says, "So." Are you going to start doing this or what? <laughs> so that was and now it's time for a fireside chat with Eddie Izzard. I, I think that's a bit unfair because I, you're not just chatting on your own. It's not like a fireside chat with Eddie Izzard and then... You're just here on your own chatting. I'm here too. No, that's completely correct. I should. It's uh, Craig Ferguson and Eddie Izzard. Whoa, whoa! I feel like the Pakistani accent is overkill here. No. <laughs> I feel it's not a, a, a Pakistani accent it's here. It's pretty good. I feel it's uh, Dundee, because I did this film, Castles in the Sky. Sir Robert Watson, what? A Scottish man, invented radar. And I just did it. It was one of the. It just came out yesterday. Whoa! Well, as, well, as one of the top ten dramas in Britain, so I was just very. It pleased. came out yesterday, and it's one of the top ten dramas no, it, in Britain already. No, the Guardian said. Ahead, <laughs> ahead of Downton Abbey and um, Flight no, of just, the Squadron. I'm just really pleased. I'm just really pleased about it because it's you know it's uh, good. It's a Scottish hero, and he, and he built this thing, and with a lot of other guys, and it's uh, available in Britain, not available in America. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, it's a good idea to promote it now in case anyone's thought, visiting from I, Britain. I thought Prince William, for example, yes, he can go back. And watch it. He, he could go back home and say, I said, did you know that Eddie Azard's playing that Scottish gentleman in that I film? Know. And, and then he... So uh, that was just pleasant to do. And I thought I'd come on and, and plug things that just really are not pluggable. Like my, my show in French is available in France now. <laughs> it is. If you fly to France right away, it's mm. completely available. <laughs> Formidable. I know. Well, I am totally impressed. But anyway, I quite like your fire. Thank you. It's, it throws uh, off an enormous amount of heat. I hope yes. you're not sweating. No. I, I, I like your, uh, your, your boots. Yes, I know. They make me taller. Um, <laughs> I, I have found that one of the advantages of being transvestite is you can wear extraordinarily high heels and be a lot taller than you uh, were before. I, I think it's a bit unfair. I think that people who are not <laughs> transvestite should be allowed to wear heels like that. No, they cannot. It's illegal. And... Uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to wear those. No, uh, you can't. You, uh, well, wait, wait. No. What's, the, what's the requirement to be in a transvestite? Because I'm not, I'm not bothered it, about it. You need to have the genetics that you're given when you're a kid. You need to go through the hell of coming out, and you can't just say, I'll throw them on on a Tuesday. <laughs> That's illegal. Oh, come on. No. That seems a little harsh. No. Look, I'm an alcoholic. Doesn't that count for something? <laughs> you can throw on a bottle of whiskey anytime you want, but right. you can't. We're not like. No, you're not. So. Well, I don't know. Well, what about uh, then gentlemen's shoes for gentlemen that have heels on them like that, that are in no way gender related? <laughs> I think that that... I, I, I tell you what you can do. Okay. Is you can, uh, don't have the heel like that, have it completely flat, but then build up underneath, invisible to anyone, so that you're actually this tall. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you, you do. So you, we could, because I need a job now. What yes. we can do is, <laughs> I'll invent this thing where it looks like your trousers are here. Yes. But that's really the start of your shoe. Exactly so. And you'll be, it'll be like going around on stilts. It should really work rather. Have well. you ever worked on stilts? No, I haven't. I've done just about everything else. But, uh, no, as, as I should say, as, as transvestite, we don't need stilts. We could just put the bloody shoes on, you see? Well, I, I mean, I'm sure there are some transvestites right now sitting at home going, but wait, Eddie, I, I make my living on stilts. I I'm a transvestite. How dare you misrepresent me? No, I think in the world there are probably three of those. It's probably, you know, the figures are really low, well, I think. Well, the thing with kilt work, if you're a transvestite, yeah. is yeah. very similar to being Scottish, that, you know, people can look up what you're wearing yeah. and see what you, you've got underneath. But, of course, uh, the kilt, the Scottish kilt, is not a skirt. It looks very, very, very much like a skirt, but it is not a skirt. Well, what can I do that with these boots, then? I can say, well, these are boots, they look like transvestite boots. <laughs> they're very, very like transvestite boots, they, but I'm Scottish, so they're not. <laughs> No, you will go to prison for that. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, but I, I think this, the, the kilt is actually... Actually, you know, there are girl kilts and boy kilts. That's the weird thing. I know girl kilts are short. Uh, sometimes it's... <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> <laughs>
That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're out of time. I have to get on with the show. I know. You're, you're not even a guest. This is just a fireside chat with Eddie Izzard, and apparently I'm not even going to involved. <laughs> but... Oh. Now, I'm not here to plug anything, but I just want to say well done for doing this, and, uh, and you'll be missed because you, you've done this well. Thanks, Eddie. I, I have to say... And this is this is not Crikey. because I can't get on the, the next episode because you're not doing it anymore. But it's uh, I wasn't sure how you would be on it. I, I heard you. I know. I remember you said to me, "Well, well, I, I said I said well, and then I put dot 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 after it." Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't sure, and uh, I think you did good. You've you've made it. You took it to a place where other people have been but not stayed, and then you went around. <laughs> And we'll be right back with the show. Where do you go?